This is a confession. This is a confession. This is a confession. This is a confession. I killed those people. This is a confession. This is a confession. I killed those people. This, 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 this is a confession. Confession. This, this, confession. Confession. Killed those people. Baba Booey. Am I am I quiet again? Alright, well, I didn't change anything, so <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Oh wait, hang on. Well, they they can't hear you right now. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> <Abuse this. laughs> he came up I with that before he even watched the movie. I couldn't. I couldn't get it out of my head. <laughs> what, when did that start playing in your head? Like, I think like immediately when the movie was chosen. Oh man, so a couple of days after, after that, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
amazing. I was like, I can't, I can't forget this. Uh, this is the perfect stream title. I can't do it. <laughs> Trying to hold in a sneeze. <laughs> uh, I was very proud of that. <laughs> you, you should be. <laughs> I just read that the Harry Potter game got delayed. Oh no! No! I, February, February 10th. I mean, I kind of expected. I know, I know a couple yeah, of people who are working on that right now. Oh, hey, well, it's probably good they're school, fucking yeah. shit together. From school, yeah. So they're interning there right now. So I'm probably gonna get the lowdown on that in a few weeks. That, nice. That's that's interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. give us the inside scoop. Me out, baby. Also, I can hear myself. Great. Oh, I, should get, I should get into Parsec so I can that's, also hear that's myself. That's probably because Parsec also just like reset all of its audio settings. Oh, Sweet. the the best. You gotta love when Windows updates and then fucks everything up. Yep. Audio not default. I want it to be this one. Hello. Hello, hello. It's still there. All right. That means I need me, to quit Parsec me, and make that. Me. Oh wait. <laughs> wait. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Wait. Uh -oh. wait. Oh. Wait. How about, uh, how about now? <laughs> how about now? Yep, I still hear myself. Right. I'm hearing it's, it's my quiet, voice. Let's quit Parsec. I said let's quit Parsec. Come on. You can't. Do it. Do it, sweet. Do it, sweet. But you're Parsec this world, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hop on back in. Hoppity hip scout doobity. Hop on pop. <laughs> don't don't hop on pop. Echo. That's not your father. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. All right, I think it's fixed. Yep. Yeah. Classic yes. parsec. Hey. Good. Classic. Classic. I love it when things never work. Are, are we audible to the masses now? Yeah, you can you can be heard now. Okay. So make sure because uh, we got all of our insults out yeah, of keep, uh, the uh, audience uh, before, yeah. so so we're done now. We won't really say any of the things we were just saying. Thank you, thank you for keeping your hottest opinions. People, but... Who I will not name at this time. Just really need needed to get some of those thoughts out. It was killing me. Kill, kill. Kill those people. Hey, there we are. Cabbage Look at us go. Now. You know, I uh, I almost wish we had another little uh, little slot for another movie to talk about this week oh. because I watched Uncharted this week. Oh no! Oh, no. Yeah, how would you give us the quick download I, on that one? I heard it was oh, bad. I I actually. I feel like it's like Steven, like if you were here, like if the three of us had just watched this together, it would have been entertaining just to like, basically, you, you, would, you would have so much to talk about with how bad this movie was. Oh, I would wow. actually go as far as to say it's one of the worst movies I've seen in the past decade. Holy wow. shit. Yeah. Really? It's, it's, it's very, very, Wait, I, it, it was extremely bad. What made it so bad? I was asking you if and I, and, and hold I've on, never, hold on. Oh, can they hear us? Are you serious? Can you hang on one sec? I say things? I don't know. Hello, hello. I'm, Can I mean, you hear I'm me? I have interesting things to say. I am, I am seeing you popping up on the uh, the audio. Yeah, like we're bouncing, Mastiff or, asking. bouncing around. Cool. Okay, no, Mastiff okay, can hear okay, you. They're, they're hearing. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. But was there I a group? Saw that, that I saw that. I saw that question. <laughs> I, I just wanted to make sure before we start that talking. Was, yes. That was an old question. I guess so. Okay. They really yeah, need so... to time stamp the chat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's something that's always God been missing. God damn it. Is it not timestamp? Can you not like hover? No, you can't. Okay. I mean, I think I can. I think I probably could look at. Not as any mod, message. maybe. I, I could click on a specific message, and it'll tell me, like, the person. But irrelevant. Yeah. Anyways, this movie was bad. I I don't even know why I clicked on it. It was I I, I fell for the classic like oh I have a couple hours just, before bed I'm gonna watch. He something. just has a major crush on Tom Holland, mm. so he had to watch it. I actually do like Tom Holland, but now I kind of don't like Tom Holland. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you only like Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, I, because yeah, I like Spider Man, and Tom Holland was Spider Man, but I don't like Tom Holland now because I now know that Tom Holland can only be Spider Man. 
Oh, um, Spider Man. It's I, and I never I never played Uncharted either, and I kind of wanted to Me play neither. Uncharted because I had heard good things. Yeah. yeah. Um. So because after I watched it and I saw how bad it was, I was I thought I have to go and see what other people are saying. <laughs> like, I can't I can't be crazy, and I want to hear what other people. I want to hear them disassemble this. Yeah. But everyone came at it from a game angle, and that kind of made me mad. A lot. Uh, yeah. Like, Everyone's only criticizing that it's not like the game. Like, no, please, I'm That's begging. Not, I'm begging the, you. the best thing that I've heard about this movie is like it's really good for a <laughs> video game movie. I it just oh and uh, anytime you have to thing. modify just make a good movie, oh, don't make it a good video. You don't you don't get to be categorized into being good. It has to. It's either good or it's not. If it's the, it's not the same good. with animated movies. You don't yep. just say, well, it's good for an animated movie or it's good for a kid's movie. Like, it's for it's time just be good movies. Yeah. Exactly. Like, if for an 80s. Say that there's a giant asterisk next to it if you're going to, like, do it. If you're going to say it's good for yeah. that category. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, Terminator is really good for an 80s movie. Like, okay. Like, but it, it's, but not a, then, it's not a good. It's not a good. Even for an 80s movie. But that, that's the funny thing because I also, the other day, someone, like, brought up again because they knew we had watched Terminator. And, like, what did you think? And, like, well, here and I think I made them quite upset because they were ready to to glow over this. They're like, oh movie. yeah, my When's favorite last time you've movie, seen Terminator it? One. When's the last right. time you've seen Terminator? Uh, 19, 1984. Well, you, you know that there's many people out there who watch. I, I mean, I'm sure Jared's included in this. Who watch movies one time, the exactly one time and exactly never again. Once. And when you watch that thing one time, and that was 20 years ago. Then uh, obviously, I'm not gonna. I'm, your, your tends to do you. tends to color your opinion a little bit. Yeah. Oh, Dory went to the theater to watch Uncharted. You fell asleep in 10, ten minutes. I woke up 30 minutes later, watched five wow. minutes. Wow, okay. I mean, uh, I luckily I didn't pay for it. So. A bunch yeah. of people in my yeah. cohort rented out a theater screen to go what? see it. Are you serious? Oh, I, I'm sorry for that. You Why? wasted just, quite a bit I mean, of money. Oh, I didn't, had go. To know. I didn't go. Oh, good. Like, they, they, had, they, had, I had, no they had to know. Like, I, ah. Even from the trailers, I was like, this doesn't look good. We no, can we can I, we I can talk about this off stream. I got plenty of opinions about stuff. Okay, okay. good. Yeah, that's, that's I, I look forward enough. to hearing that. I look forward to hearing that. Haha, <laughs> you guys can't participate. Oh, massive! <laughs> we are, massive we are, already <laughs> gets gets the whole down low for sure. Okay. Secret stream. Yeah, we always have our stream part two, which is extremely <laughs> exclusive because it's only yeah, it's the three of us. <laughs> called Jared after dark. And <laughs> yeah, Jared takes all of his clothes off and just stands naked in front of the it's, camera for uh, three yeah, hours. We, just, we can watch him for hours. It's, this, as this long tea, as we want. Massive, this tea is pretty much the same flavor that I we we serve up every single time we talk your about own this stuff. Flavor. So, yeah. <laughs> your, your own flavor. <laughs> Anywho, any other thoughts about Uncharted? What made it so bad? Uh, uh, bad, okay, uh, bad casting, obviously. Okay. It's on Holland. Like, I don't even. Though, I don't know. Bad casting. Listen, I don't even know about Uncharted, but I I already know that Tom Holland isn't a good Nathan Drake. I can just tell by watching <laughs> the movie. And yeah. Mark Wahlberg is, like doesn't do anything special with it either. Like it just seems weird because mm. you, it, it, it tries to portray itself as being this sort of like modern Indiana Jones, but then it's just lots of like little slapsticky jokes, and none yeah. of them land. And it, it it tries to like get you set up for these really cool puzzles and set pieces, and the puzzles are like really stupid. Mm-hmm. Like there's nothing interest. Like this is National Treasure was ten times more clever than this, and National Treasure was meant to be like a kids family movie. Right. But this is like a video game movie for like you know our age people to to get for get M-rated connected with. boys. And I'm assuming I'm assuming that the puzzles and like uh, the story and stuff and Uncharted is somewhat interesting. Like mm-hmm. whoa, like that's what that is, or that's how they did that. Yeah. But this is just like not even well thought out. There's nothing interesting at all. Like the the fact that they think it's interesting that they show you postcards at the beginning that the brother has been sending to Tom Holland. And it's like, oh, all these like postcards. Like, I wonder. The, 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 I wonder if they're gonna mean anything. Oh, oh no! The puzzle was the postcard. It was oh. in the postcard all along. <laughs> After they show you like Tom Holland carrying around these postcards the whole movie, like, I wonder if those are gonna be important. He has no other reason to be carrying them. <laughs> oh, they should have well, cast Nick Cage as Nathan Drake. There you go. Movie fixed. And then called it National I do, Treasure. I, I do. Yeah, think National that. Treasure Three: An Uncharted Story. <laughs> <laughs> Millions. I do think that Nick Nick Cage does make National Treasure. Mm-hmm. That's actually that's a true he, statement. He, he, in, he, in the, he, in the same way that Arnold Schwarzenegger like was what like catapulted the, the Terminator. Terminator. The Terminator yeah, would be like nothing would, without him. Uh, Terminator, yeah, without him, that movie would have been actual garbage. I would have given mm. it like a one. 
Just, just think about it. Imagine if Terminator did fail because it didn't have Arnold Schwarzenegger. No one actually had like a connection with it. Yeah. And then James Cameron just didn't have a movie career. Imagine we that. Have, we wouldn't have gotten no, Titanic. No or Titanic. Avatar. None of the five avatars. <laughs> However many they're making. However many there are. Um, yeah. So just it was poor, poorly made. Like really bad dialogue. Mm. Like just kind of just stupid. And <laughs> it. it I had my eyes rolling quite a bit because it started to do some of those. It was basically Pirates of the Caribbean 2. They literally have a scene at the end where two helicopters are carrying two Spoilers. ancient sh ancient ships. I'm I'm gonna spoil it for you because you're not gonna watch it. I'm not. Oh, literally, literally two helicopters are are hauling in the air two like their own individual like uh, pirate ship. I mean, it's not a pirate ship. It's just a sail ship from the 1400s or whatever. Um, and they're flying them around in the sky and battling with each other and people are swinging on ropes from one flying uh, ship to the other as if they are pirates. It's <laughs> uh, it's absolute nonsense. Uh, like, I'm sure there's so many things that we could, like if we watched together, we could go into and like tear it down, but it was dumb. It, I was actually rolling my eyes and, and laughing quite a bit. So oh, I think man. it would have been entertaining to watch it together, but, but damn. Shit. A lot of money to spend on a really bad movie, which I also didn't know that they planned to make this movie like 12 years ago or something. Like when the first they, game came out. They're always, right, they're yeah. always planning. They were planning. I'm sure like, a Bioshock movie's gonna come out eventually. They've been planning the Last of Us movie the like for us, yeah. forever. Like they, no, gonna be a like, show no, they, they like started to like get it together and like the, they were get, going into I mean, production it, like 12 years ago or something. Jesus. And then like struggled to get the money or whatever the problem was that took them this long to make it, which is why it was actually apparently going to be Mark Wahlberg as Nathan Drake, mm. and, and, aged out. and then he, he aged old. out of it, and so they made him uh, Sully, the older guy, oh my God. and just were like, oh, we need a hot young new guy to play. Um, Who's Spider-Man hot? Guy gonna be? Oh, Spider-Man's pretty hot. Do you see him in those? Do you see his And blood? they were like, well, uh, we would get uh, Paul Walker, but he's dead, so I guess we'll just get Tom Holland. <laughs> Even uh, if Paul Walker was alive, do you think he'd be relevant enough today? <laughs> today uh actually uh he's i guess he would with be, fast, he would fast, be, if you're yeah. still in fast and furious but yeah, yeah i think i think action, so. he would be as the action you were describing to me sounds pretty fast and furious -y. It, exactly i mean the very opening it, it even it does that thing where it opens up in the like middle of the movie yeah. and it's like whoa we're gonna find out how this happened later uh -huh. um and the very opening scene is like tom holland climbing up a bunch of boxes that are hanging out of a flying airplane oh, and I've defying physics trailers. to yeah. to a, jump between the boxes which that's just a like scene from the game oh, yeah it? and again like i think sure. th those are things that just like they work in the game but ah, i just i don't know that you get the gravity of that in like a movie scene especially mm -hmm. when tom holland's like oh sorry like as if he's peter parker like a, every time he's like apologizing for hurting people like what <laughs> I, I make an make an original character don't write him like this and then when i obviously read later like people were upset that uh, Nathan Drake was never like this. He was much more of an asshole. Yeah. Like uh, he was just like a all about the treasure kind of a person, which I would expected. I would have expected in a movie like this. Yeah. Um, and that someone had to rein that person's sort of like overreach in, in, in. like that mm. would be interesting. And then that was like uh, that's where I thought it would even go without knowing the game is that Tom Holland, like uh, since he gets like separated from his brother when they're young, was going to and I, like Nathan Drake. Um, is going to constantly be like looking for his brother and because of that like he doesn't have any guidance So he's always overreaching He doesn't attach himself to anybody and that he was gonna need someone to help him Yeah, and that's where I thought it was gonna go and that's where I thought this like Mark Wahlberg character was gonna be But no, it's not that <laughs> it's just Peter Parker is learning from Mark Wahlberg um, how to how to follow a map uh, that anyone that lived in the city where this thing is would know because some of the treasure like where it was originally hidden was literally just under a grate like you could literally see the gate to where like the entrance to the treasure is from a grate in a in a crowded city like they make they go through like 30 or 40 minutes of puzzle solving to get through this underground like or, like a sort of passageway this like mm -hmm. ancient thing that no one's seen in hundreds of years and at the very end of it, um, Mark Wahlberg is following along the GPS like up on the streets yeah. and he follows along to where they are. And wouldn't you know it? There's a modern great like a modern one, a modern like installed gate from the 20th or 21st century that you can peek through the grates and literally clearly see fully lit where Tom Holland and this girl are now after they traveled a bunch through a bunch of obstacles and death traps to get here. 
But like, Whoever installed what? that must have had a grand old time. The, but the thing, like, it's just, it's super weird that it tried to place, it tried to do like the Da Vinci Code thing where like all of this these is, ancient this is things. right now. <laughs> this is Uncharted, yeah, sorry. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> I'm very Andrew's interested in this. talk for another hour about Uncharted. <laughs> No, we can stop this. It's just it's stuff I would have wanted to talk about with somebody after watching yeah. it because um, it was confounding. And then, of course, like there's like a fight in one of the like a uh, one of the keyholes like the And this is another national treasure thing. Like, is could it really be that simple? Like mm -hmm. the key goes in the keyhole. One of the keyholes is literally just in a Papa John's. Um, nice. Like a modern, and this is the thing that they're, they're trying to. Ju they think it's like interesting to juxtapose these ancient things with modern things built around it. But that only makes sense if the modern things just like did that thing where they like dug right up until the point of where it was and didn't notice it, yeah. or it wasn't clear that there was some function in place, right? But all of the modern things leading right up to the gate or the keyhole have full visibility that that's a door that's a keyhole like someone has done something with this before modern technology would have just broken that opened it because i mean this the, the systems put in place to open like this type of gate or whatever it was before was like made out of rocks and and ropes and things but now you just have a jackhammer which is what they used to open it in the first place just open that door there it's done but it, this movie just sort of ignores all of that because they think it's interesting that there's a Papa John's and inside the Papa John's you had to like, oh no, we got to go in the Papa John's and we got to break the glass to get to the keyhole right behind where two people are eating their Papa John's. It's <laughs> Papa John himself make a cameo. It's and this is also, of course, it's like in Italy. So I don't know if the, I, I'm they went to sure a Papa like in John's in Italy in Italy. I, that, I, that sounds sacrilegious to me. He's about I, to get himself it, an Italian so, slice. <laughs> it's all, but that's it almost it made everything seem kind of like a joke and then the then the movie like threw a tantrum when you didn't take it seriously like when someone would die and you'd be like well yeah of course Bobby <laughs> like of course that guy was gonna die uh, i was entertained that antonio banderas was in this movie because oh, he, oh, he, 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 he struck this? me he struck me as sort of a outdated like yeah that guy's just got a lot of money and he's retired in like an island somewhere but yeah. no he needed the money and came back to play a, a spanish sounding guy <laughs> Um, and his only evil thing is wanting to find treasure, and uh, he happens to hire really violent people who are so clever that the second uh, they get close to finding the treasure, they obviously kill him. And <laughs> and all of this scene, and everyone's always shocked at this stuff, but it's like, if, from the beginning of the movie, it's all set up to be this way. It's just the movie treats you like you're stupid, and then it takes you to Papa John's, <laughs> and, then it, and then it flies like helicopter ships and does pirate battles, and at the end, you're supposed to laugh because you're like, oh, Mark Wahlberg and Peter Parker are best friends now. Like, you're supposed to be happy at the end, but it makes no sense. <laughs> it's so a good I, movie, I 10 out of 10, we're seeing. Gamers. You can, you can yeah, rest I, easy I, I, knowing I, I, that it's I, I, sitting I, comfortably at like a 6.4 right now on IMDb. Hey, it was, number, it was number one on Netflix, so just saying, what does that tell you? I, uh, I, I, enjoyed, really. I enjoyed the Netflix way of rating things, because that, that's it was up on like the most watched when I watched it on Netflix, because it was Netflix. it just popped up in front of me. Oh, I fell for the trap that like movie I haven't seen but have heard of is on TV. Bird we'll Box? Watch now. Yeah, so I fell for that one. I mean, yeah, I knew it wasn't going to be good. Too, which is weird. Oh, that's did they? Bad. I didn't notice that. You didn't? No. That's probably I guess why I... I uh, maybe I don't know. I, I don't go on Netflix enough, so I, I just assume that things are constantly changing. I know Amazon changed theirs quite a bit. Yeah, they changed it to where there's like, instead of just one big top banner, it's like for one movie, it's like four different things at once. <laughs> it's like yeah. really, really yeah. assaulting these days. But anyways, okay, sorry, that was our warm up. That was our warm up. I just enjoyed that warm up. Warm -up. <laughs> that was my. <laughs> That was my one. I wish, I wish that I actually do wish we had all seen it because I think we would have had a oh, fun time God, breaking that one down. That but but here but here we go. Now the one that we did see. Snowpiercer. Um, the, can you open us up? My, snow, my snow can pierce the sky. Pierce the sky. Pierce the sky. <laughs> um, so right. so Steven, you and I watched this one last night. Yeah. Yes, I, I did too. Did, did you also? Yeah. Nice. I like. I, I feel like Thursdays are good. Like it's usually Thursdays a good night to watch. It's calm. It's still fresh, but I don't have to like brush it before stream. Yeah, I get to just sit down and the, it's dark outside instead of like trying to watch it. I don't like watching movies that I like with like the sun up outside. There's something no. about. I mean, that I kind of, I kind of have to. Like the, <laughs> by the time the sun's going down. Oh, that's when it's you have work on Friday, so. 
do what I do and just sit, like, work from home on just Friday and then still sleep in until noon. <laughs> yeah, I can't there you do go. that. <laughs> that's cheat. That's ah, cheating. I, I have to wake days. up at seven. Well, that's because you have to go into work. <laughs> I do. I have to go into work every day. But people would notice if I showed up at noon. Not. Uh, this is gonna be very quick. I, uh, I have my yes. ninety day review. Today. Yay! Woo. Oh, so you had it today. Full on employee now. Full Look employee. Full you. insurance. Yeah, but yeah. What's baby. the first thing you're gonna do with all that new insurance? Uh, Break a leg. Anyways, <laughs> snow piercer. It's a snow piercer. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just right out the gate, I actually right I liked I liked this movie. I I, I, I like this I, movie. I'll have I'll have I'll have I mostly kind positive of a decent things. amount. Yeah, I, I enjoy. I'll have this. mostly positive things. Like to say. same. Yeah, yeah. I kind of I honestly kind of put this in the realm of iRobot. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. I say I, like, I think I think so as well. I think I really would as good, well. I think I would as well. Perfect. But like yes. really good, like that sort of territory. It, I, I think that's a that's a great way to put it. Just because like my my thing with iRobot was that I liked um, the the action was mostly fine. But what I liked is that it went a little bit deeper with the themes than I would expect from just like a just an action movie. You know? Super surface right, level right. movie theater level. Yes. Yeah. So it, it challenged me a little more than I expected, which is why I liked it a little bit more. Um, at, at similar similar to iRobot though, like the main premise of it. Uh, is is pretty simple, easy to understand, like pretty straightforward mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but I, I don't Ice think that's age. the train. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> class war. Okay, yeah, here's if you uh... were to bullet point the movie, <laughs> delicious uh, protein oh. bars. Mm -mm -mm, those gelatin mm, bars. I really want. I really want to eat one. I, I just give me more of know. those brown gelatin bars. So tasty. Here's uh, here's the embarrassing thing. Uh, Hit me. It wasn't until. Oh fuck! What was the main character's name? Claude. Start with a C. Curtis. 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 It wasn't Curtis until Everett. it wasn't until Curtis took off his beanie that I realized my like you. Oh shit! That's Chris, Chris Evans. Evans. <laughs> oh seriously? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! I knew it from the cover of the movie. <laughs> oh no! I, I remember. I remember me face. looking at the IMDb page, be like, "Oh, Chris Evans is in this movie," and then I totally forgot once I started watching the movie. Forgot. Racking yeah. his brain. Who's Chris Evans? Is it the old man? No, I, it's, oh, it's, I just he just wasn't even he just wasn't even Evans. on my mind, and then he took off his beanie gotcha. and was like, "Oh, it's Chris oh. Evans." Oh. That, I was the exact opposite of that. I was having to dispatch with like that's not Captain America. That's not Captain America. Oh, yeah. I was doing that this for was, the first like because this couple came out like scenes. what twenty thirteen or something like in, in the heat America time? in the heat of Marvel time. Yeah, you know, so, a little bit interesting. Obviously, like he wasn't blonde, so that kind of helped a little bit. But it, it did it did help. He had shorter hair and stuff. But like this taking on the taking on the leadership role kind of a thing. Yeah. Like it, I was like, okay, that's not leader. Captain America. That's not Captain. It's not him. It's not him. <laughs> it's not. That's not him. He's got snow piercer's, piercer's ass. ass. <laughs> America's <laughs> ass. But, uh, but yeah, I, th I think over overall, I like. I like it too. Yeah, yeah I enjoyed it. Uh, my uh, this internet is, this is, is this going is wacky. Typically so what sorry, I want. A bunch of like. This is typically oh, what I want from a movie. Like mm -hmm. what this movie did is typically what I think movies should should do. Like they give you a premise, they follow the premise, and it's enjoyable to follow it. And the premise is more than just like surface dressing. I think what I enjoyed a lot exactly. about this yeah, movie I, was I, that like. They really, I, in a lot of creative ways, they really utilized the setting of being on a train the entire time. And oh, totally. Yeah, like, that they really made cool. that the limitation. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we can, uh, we can. Yeah, it, we, it wasn't just a setting. It was necessary. Like, yes. like things were happening because they were on a train. Mm -hmm. So, and now this, nice this stuff. is going to make me sound really unintelligent, yeah, but, but you are, um, like this was this was like a Korean like half Korean or like Korean produced movie, right? It was directed by um, Bong Joon Ho, direct which is okay, the same yeah. guy so who it did was like a, um... basically a Korean film. Yes, and this was I, his first I, English language film that he directed. Actually, interesting. Yeah. I could weirdly tell, like, I, like once I like noticed that, or maybe it was just my like racist brain. I'm like, this is really like a Korean movie. Oh like, yeah, the, something about it, like the way it was. I filmed knew, and I stuff, knew the moment uh, they they, they got really the gay Korean. guy out of there and his daughter was like. There's the main characters. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like yeah. it felt like a Korean movie. Like, I, also, that, I also like that it is based off a French When they were right. speaking in Korean, there's no subtitles. It was all just like either context or the little universal translation. Well, it, it's weird. It didn't shoot. It never picked a lane. And like it kind of. So it started off with the the translator, right? And it was yep. really like in. It was like diegetic. It was in the movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
which I thought was neat, but I'm like, shit, I can't hear it. Yeah, um, so it was a little quiet. Very, it was very quiet. But then it did that I thing just where kind of, I just back. kind of assumed that most of the things he was saying, I was kind yeah. of getting through context. So yeah. like, I Which I, is I fine. Especially, I think for the most part, like, that's obviously, Obviously, I'm jumping way ahead, but like his like final speech, essentially. That was of, all. He was just like, speaking was, like, in Korean. There was no translator. All, just speaking Korean. They yeah. stopped the translator, and I was like, "Well, I mean, I guess it would have taken away from the." Uh, me, I feel like it would also yeah. take away from like the pacing as well. Like this was the well, big, this have, was the climactic conversation. Yeah, they had so, subtitles like, even at the beginning with him. They did. They like, did. But only, a little bit. A only, little bit. Only, only Wait a briefly. Minute. Why didn't I get subtitles at all? I didn't get any. It's because you didn't watch it on Tubi, buddy. I watched it on Amazon. You didn't get any you didn't subtitles. Get, you got either? zero subtitles. Zero subtitles the entire movie. What the fuck? What? Are you serious? I, don't, I, don't. I assumed that was just part of it. No. Oh, are you, oh Steven. Or what do we the need to go hell? watch the like final scene now? <laughs> oh yeah, I was like, I was like, man, he's talking for a long time without me knowing what he's saying. Are you serious? Oh, I, no. I, I was like, all right, so he's kind of caught on. Like, I still like understand that he caught on that like the snow was start like. The freeze was starting to like lessen. So you, yes. so you, heard, so you were looking at his stuff. hand gestures and pointing at things. Exactly. And oh, well, he was like, <laughs> well, he was, I, I assumed like he's talking about the airplane. What? You probably couldn't see the airplane because of snow before. <laughs> and, you're, like, hey, you're right. Stuff like that. But yeah, you're there right. was zero think, subtitles for Okay, me. so like, I think you got the gist of it. I, wow. I, I understand the gist of it. And he's like, no, we got to blow up this door. We got to get out of here sort yeah. of shit. Like, yep. don't even bother with the engine. Yeah. Um, And that's pretty much it. I feel like I still understand the movie. You do. No, yeah, you do. I do. I'm actually surprised you were able to pick up that much just from context clues. I just completely clues. thought that that was just <laughs> the whole point of the movie. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I mean, well, Chris like, Evans they had the Universal Translator, him. so I'm like, all right, if it's really that important, they'll translate it for me. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. I, just, I was like, all right, that's I'll just roll fucking with funny. <laughs> because so why, would I, why, would I have, why would I have to activate subtitles? You, no, you should have. That should have been you baked into shouldn't. the film. It ain't. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That, that, here we go. There's our, there, there's a there's a criticism. It's that they didn't exactly know how to handle the subtitles. They brought in like multiple that's strange, ways because I watched on the same platform. For was Andrew, and Andrew somehow had subtitles. That's so well, I, I turned I turned on subtitles at certain points and turned them off at certain points because there were times oh. it was quiet and I couldn't hear it. So it is I possible that. I just, that I, I actually just, it's well, possible I had that I just had. So I didn't have an audio uh, issue, so I just had them okay. off the whole time, and I just let's, it's let's, very it's, it's fine. It's I don't very think I possible. missed anything. And honestly, yeah, I, it seemed like I it. like it better not knowing exactly <laughs> what he's saying. Well, I, I actually because am honestly, Chris Evans doesn't know Korean either, so I have to just basically beat Chris <laughs> Evans in that situation and just yeah. kind of understand what he's saying. I think that's and fine. I, and I had the benefit of the little cutaways to the different images of things. There you and go. Chris Evans didn't. So there you go. <laughs> this will be interesting when we get to that part. I, I'm, I'm actually curious to get to the parts where Stephen didn't get dialogue, and we yeah. can talk through that and see. Because I want to hear what he thinks. Any time uh, that dude was talking, without the little translator, I was, thing. unless they had the translator, I didn't know what he's saying, or unless like his daughter was like repeating it in English. Yeah, yeah, because she That's was another thing. She would translate for him sometimes too. Okay, yeah. so in those like, situations, right, so like, in those situations, like when he was warning them about like the tunnel or whatever, we're jumping all around. Uh -huh. That wasn't yeah, translated. That wasn't subtitled. And then she would speak what he said. So like there were times okay. when it chose specifically not to subtitle Korean. I think, yeah, I for think dramatic yeah, everything effect. up until the final like speech was like perfect. Like they had translated in different ways, but I think that would <laughs> like, they started doing the translator, but they stopped halfway through because he was just talking. Mm -hmm. was, well, and well, I, I thought it was doing that thing where you know where like two characters that are speaking like Italian yeah. will like start by speaking Italian and like give you subtitles, but then it'll start they'll start speaking English. Yep. And it's yeah. this illusion that like they are still speaking Italian, but now you understand Italian kind of a thing. Yeah. yeah I yeah, thought yeah, it was yeah. doing that where like it's gonna start with the translator to show like and this is how the speaking English, they're, I, this is how they're understanding it. That would yeah. require the actor to know English. <laughs> Doesn't. Well, but then I thought that because they switched to subtitles like yep. at that point mm -hmm. um, at the very beginning when they know. first meet uh, And I'm gonna start calling him Jerry from now on Jerry. Okay, um, yeah. that character that guy is Jerry, Jerry. Um, Because uh, Jerry the second long they, hair because the second like, they pulled him out him. and then like when he started smoking the cigarette I'm like that's Jerry from now on he's Jerry and I can't <laughs> not think of him stink. as Jerry <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you said that because that's gonna come up later in one of my beef arguments mm -hmm. um, Beef is coming. Uh, but the beef is uh, the beef is with the Willy Wonka ness of uh, 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 the the Willy Wonka theory. I have. So we'll talk. Oh, we'll I talk have no about idea what that is, but I do. Theory, but I do I, have I only one watched the movie. I didn't. 
I, I have I have one major beef with this film as well, um, but it it mostly has to do with it doing something poorly that the rest of the film does very well. So I'm just like, hmm. oh, classic oh. Terminator move. Not not as yeah. dramatic as Terminator. Like I said, I still okay, I like this movie as a whole, but we'll we'll get to it. My my beef but actually yeah, happens there, there pretty early. There are a few early. things that could have been better, mm -hmm. but we'll, we'll get we'll get to those positive. parts. Yeah. yeah, I think that so I think that, that's good like opening thoughts for good for the movie. To start at the beginning. Shall we now? I started at so, the beginning, but I feel like I have to go first. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in 1994, a 10-pound baby in Ann Arbor, Michigan. <laughs> so we we open up to some like news broadcast stuff, um, and then we start with some text position. And, and if yeah, you, can, and if you don't like goodness. the text position, you can blame Harvey Weinstein, and that is not a joke. Because I was oh, looking really? through the IMDb like trivia stuff. I have it up right now. And one of the yeah. things that uh, he said the director was fighting the producers against hard was they really wanted him to put like some sort of exposition like text stuff at the beginning for audiences. He's like, no, I'm not really? going gonna, I'm, I'm to gonna do that. And then eventually he had to relent and do that. He had to put that in there against his will, essentially. Oh. Uh, you can kind of tell because it's not telling you anything that interesting. Mm. Harvey Weinstein loves doing, making people do things against their will, I guess. It does. <laughs> hey, but it's for the better of the movie. Like, you want the part, don't you? Uh -oh. It had a limited U.S. release because of him, too. I did read that as well, yeah. Oh, oh wow. U.S. release? What the fuck? Yeah, it, it like, this, this movie, I think, was very... It released to a lot of pretty great critical acclaim, but it bombed in the U.S. because of its limited run. That's interesting. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely remember when this movie was coming out, but I don't remember seeing like a bunch, a bunch of. No one was talking. No one was talking about it. Yeah, it, 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 it felt like a. I thought it was like a cheap, like quick movie that Chris Evans yeah, did on the side. Same. You know, for I, some I gas thought it money. Was completely just like some low budget like thing yeah. that was just random. So I didn't bother with it, but. So but, uh, it's not the case. It's actually like a pretty big movie, yeah. that, which is I, I started to get an idea of like maybe why I hadn't heard of it when I saw that it was a, like a Korean film, mm -hmm. which maybe struck me as a, like this is why more people haven't really either seen it or why it wasn't at the top spot on Netflix for like a billion years. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I, I expected there to be more Korean language in there because yeah. um, it was like a director. Like I expected the English to be subtitled. Like every time, I, th I thought it was a full, like full on Korean movie. But yeah, so it, here, here's like the, here's like the thing. I've heard Korean. I've heard a lot of of chatter about this director Bong Joon Ho in terms of like the stuff that he's he's directed. Uh, he directed Parasite, which won best film of in like oh, just not even like, yeah, like so not this, even foreign uh, films, like right. best film. Um, oh, I remember I don't remember hearing about Parasite. And, and even before that, director. even before that, he's been making a bunch of like critically acclaimed movies. Um, Okay. And after watching this, I can like kind of see why. Movie. Like, I would be, I would be interested to check out like his other films because I, I get the sense mm -hmm. that this is nowhere near his best work. But I enjoyed his directing. Sure. I enjoyed his directing style and what I was seeing on screen and how he was framing things enough to just be like, maybe I should check this guy out. Like, I'm interested. He made, yeah. he made some good ch choices like throughout most of the movie. Actually, mm -hmm. I appreciated the directing. Yeah. And that's coming from some movies that we've seen recently that had bad directing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, this was, <laughs> this was one of those movies where I found myself getting lost in the world. At yes. Time. Yeah. Oh, he was I very guess. good this at world building. Exactly I like that. I like that's exactly what you want. Super nice. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like one of my favorite parts was like the first time you see the, those like masked guys and like one of those. Holy like, shit, dude. Yes. That was, like, oh, that was fuck, great. Yeah, this is awesome. That was great. That, like, all right, all right, here we go. Things are starting to get weird and I like it. Yeah, the movie yeah, had yeah. the ability to keep surprising you at different like gates that you pass cool. through. And mm -hmm. we'll go from car to car. We yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. We absolutely will. We'll, we'll, we'll talk we'll, about we'll all of this. All that stuff. But like there's a lot of like really cool things that I, that I like mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. But uh, but up to and including today, we still have not seen a movie without some sort of text to get you prepared this to watch true. the movie. That's so That's weird. Every, every, every movie, well, and uh, I think Secret of Nim is the exception, but it has a voice explanation. Yeah. Um, this had both, like this had the news, it had like the I Am Legend kind of like the news playing to tell you yeah. like, which I thought was enough. You, I, That's why I, I, I thought that, it was actually weird. Yeah. That, that was we more than enough, yeah. 
I thought mm -hmm. the the news was enough to be like, okay, like yeah, they fucked give up, me, and now it's a nice age. And also, they talk about they talk about C nine or C seven or whatever it was. C C W seven. They talk about it in the movie. So in the actual movie, you don't need. I can I can totally see the producers' little grubby hands like we need to bring the audience in like first shot, first thirty seconds. They need to know what's going on. That just doesn't make for good content, unfortunately. But I popped up in The Walking Dead Season 1 and guess who was all over the credits. Gail Ann Hurd, the woman who played, who's James Cameron sold the Terminator. Oh, his wife? Oh, nice. No shit. Oh, she is a part of, well, at least Season 1 of Walking Dead's all right. It's all right. Can't yeah. say that for the rest of it. <laughs> there's some other I dropped it midway season. There's some not, not concur, not like. It, it's not consistent. Next. It's not I consistent. Mm. It's, and, and there's some very glaringly bad. Ex -ex -wife. Ex -wife. Oh, oh twice she's removed. super not, super not his wife. That was like three avatars ago. <laughs> that was like, <laughs> why, why are you guys bringing this up? What, what is what is all this about? <laughs> so we, we opened up with one some... of those on, on stream. Oh my god, <laughs> one of those JCS videos. Jesus Christ. Yes, that'd be great. Um, I'm going to do React content for everything. <laughs> So we open up on all that text position stuff, and then I think we go yes. just right into uh, the the first, the back car, the tail end, and yep. you got the oh, dude yep. like counting the people, and they're all sitting down at once. Chris Evans yep. is like mm -hmm. just staying in there, uh, and it makes you. It's, I was like, it's oh a, man, already a rebel. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good it's a good way to sort of like, hey, <laughs> this guy. is the main character. You know, like here he is. Um, yeah. And you'd think like normally in most movies when he's doing that, it's just like he's about to start some shit, but he's actually like, like you right know plotting through. right there. He's like counting the yep. doors to see how far it goes. Right, back. Yeah, he's just yeah. timing. It's like shut mm -hmm. up, Edgar. I'm trying to count. Stop talking to me. Can't you count while sitting that down? That's one of that's one of my first uh, compliments to the movie is that it immediately is like all right the plan is like we're we're in the plan not yeah they, making, they don't not, they don't like wallow in the slums for like thirty minutes no, to show you how bad no. it is we, no we no come no. in right before they're like doing yes. this stuff they're just which is great like yes. we don't waste right, there's no like, wasted time we, the the movie like the director knows like you're gonna get how bad it it is through just watching the movie we mm -hmm. don't need to just. Yeah. Go from a, through a couple scenes of seeing people like starving and someone sad. Like, no, just do the movie and you'll get all that through the characters, which is how you should do, do it. it. Yep. The black bars of food. Black bars of food. I thought they looked delicious. They looked. Uh, it like was candy. a clever they design. Like, like it, it was. It's. It's what you would it's expect. Just little it gelatin to be. things. I yeah. Like it's 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 cool. Like. When I first saw those, I was like, ooh, yeah, like that, that makes sense. Like Rashid just being like There's a, gelatin. There was a little thing. piece of trivia yeah. that I saw on IMDb. It says, writer and director Bong Chun ho explained that the protein block was made by combining seaweed, tangle, sugar, and gelatin. Jamie Bell hated it, while Tilda Swinton liked it. Wow. Which which one's Tilda Swinton? Madison. She was, she was the Mason. Woman the, with the teeth. The, the glasses lady. Oh, Mason? Yeah. yeah. The, the, Mason. the yellow jacket lady? Okay. Yeah. So she had to pretend to no, hate no, that the, stuff. Not she was the a... yellow jacket lady. No, no, no. The yellow jacket oh, lady was someone sorry. else. Sorry. <laughs> not, 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 not Claude. Uh, so, like Mason, so the, the, Mason. the old lady with the bad teeth. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that was Tilda teeth, Swinton. Where do I recognize her from? Uh, as the hottest pregnant woman name. alive. No, no. That's no, not Tilda that's Swinton. a different person. Tilda Swinton oh, right. is the white witch from Chronicles of Narnia, I think. What oh, was that's she? What it is. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's, that's what funny. it is, Steven. She's also in um, Doctor Strange. She was the yeah. She's the bald lady in Doctor bald Strange, lady. and yeah, and she's the the white queen or the ice queen or whatever in uh, yeah. Chronicles of Narnia. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, it was killing me because I recognize the name and her face, but her teeth were all jacked up, and I'm like, oh, oh, Harry yeah. Potter teacher? I don't. Know. Anytime there's like a British lady that I recognize, I'm like, were you a teacher at Hogwarts? <laughs> <laughs> school of witchcraft and wizardry <laughs> so yeah like and then the rest of the time in the in the tale is pretty much like talking about them like you know coming up with their plan you got uh yep. i just i'm blanking on all these characters names but the scottish dude um, Andy, uh, andrew edgar and son edgar, Andy. edgar oh or i thought you were talking about the actual scottish dude no, 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 the no. Very, uh, oh. very Scottish. Dude. No, his second in command which, which, guy. Which one's which one's the Scottish guy? The red hair guy, Andrew. What did he his do? Name was, was, he the, was he the artist? Yeah. No. No, the guy I who gets his arm. Fucking arm. Oh, I that, barely oh. ever heard him talk, so I didn't even register. <laughs> Every time he talked, I was like, "This man's from Scotland." That's a that's a Scottish man right there. Apparently, she wanted to go even further wacky with the look, but they had to reel her back in. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Like I mean, that was she was her, she was a wonderfully the, hateable character. The appearance of her I, character is when I really started to be like, all right, let's go movie. Like I, like, I, I like the idea that like 
the higher class people are just weird. Uh huh. The, the abs I love the absurdity of it. Like, yeah, it's all just gets it's more already more so absurd. absurd as you go up. And it's mm -hmm. just like this exactly is the stuff I, I want. And and they're so just like entrenched in like they're part of the society that they like fully believe everything they're saying. It's not. Oh, like, oh yeah. Like it's not like. Uh, uh, no, I have to do this or it's a job. It's like, I fundamentally believe this and yeah. it's weird that you don't agree with me kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, they're, they're going through their whole plotty, their whole plotty details. I just read culty at the yep. same time. So that was plotty. <laughs> their plot stuff. Plotty. Um, uh, Somebody got to go plotty. We, we John get plotty, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he change it to a plot that weakens it? <laughs> um wow that's what like four office jokes we're like 45 Dude, minutes i mean in. get bad. ready like that's <laughs> probably just how it's gonna be now um, you opened the stream with an office joke I that's true. the, I can't, the I can't title help. of the stream is an office joke you've turned you flipped the switch <laughs> so uh it. the gotta go plotties <laughs> <laughs> doing my doing my plotties so oh, we please. we eventually we eventually get to what is I think my first beef with the movie is that like okay you find he start like those little capsule things with the notes on them. Uh interesting. Yeah. That yeah, he's I was just mysteriously you getting. Um, yes. Apparently he knew it was in that one specific protein block that Timmy had. Um, they give like vague hints about how to do things. Yeah, I guess. like one word or two words at a time, the police, basically. Yeah. They, 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 they're, they're they've been to help them know, like, kind of what to do next. Yes, he's he's been getting a bunch of these throughout the movie. This isn't his first one, so. Oh no, they've There's definitely that. been getting more of them. Yeah, so so that's that's a thing. I I just didn't. Well, what's your specific beef with it? That's I don't like problem. one. I wasn't necessarily like. The, the plot didn't really rely on them. That I, I feel like you could have removed them all from the movie and it would have been exactly the same. They didn't help I, him all that much. I definitely don't think so. You don't so. think so? Okay, well, hang on. <laughs> like the whole point was that the guy at the top was sending them all the way back to get him to like the whole point of the fucking movie. Jared, had, and I didn't even he know. He had a guy on the inside. He had a guy on the inside. He had the other his his yeah, partner on the, the tail this was, was doing that stuff. This was well, another well, thing to, to no, make no, no. sure no, 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 that no, no, you no. got as far He's, as you possibly can. No, 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 no. I want to hear Jared's take on this real quick. He gets a little. He gets a little piece of paper and it says water on it. The next car uh -huh. ahead has the water stuff, so he's gonna get there anyway. When he when they're right. in the classroom, he gets he somehow he just gets the egg that has the little capsule in it. Maybe the dude who was handing him out was in on it. Whatever he gets it, it just says blood. Does that does that just mean he's, does yeah, he know he's uh, so they're I about think, to get attacked? Like, well, I, I think at least so. There's there's two ways to view this. There's the early times where like. Um, Maybe the, the notes were more more useful the off screen early, before the, the story. The earliest, the earliest ones were the integral to understand. Like they didn't know, like how else would they have That's had the, the goal of getting to the security? To get the, like the Nam Namgung, Jerry. Like yeah. the only oh, way they knew okay. to get Jerry was was through All that. Right. So I missed a couple of the I missed a couple of the early ones. Um, and Fair enough. so then the water one. So like the, it makes sense later because. Um, like water like implying that the water car was going to be coming up soon was like if you control the water basically we win um, but he doesn't and then, though and he knew that no he, maybe he it was I just also, a breadcrumb I, mm, I also think that they get more and more vague as it goes on because at some point he's like well i don't necessarily he's not actually need supposed to, to come to the he's engine he's not supposed yeah. to go from back to end, back to front he's only supposed to no. make it so far sure to, he was only supposed to make it to correct percentage of people. They were yeah. only supposed to make it to the Yerbanaka or whatever. Yeah, bridge. like they were supposed to um, end at the bridge. Yeah. So, the, like the idea of the water, I think, was to say like you can stop here, do like some, and then like turn around, and then like Gilliam was the one that actually told them like, no, you know what, keep going, motherfucker. Mm, um, right. So, it, like, it was all supposed to end there. Like, if anything, Gilliam was supposed to tell him like, let's stop here. Like the water was saying, like this is a good spot to stop. The blood was, uh, yeah, that... the blood felt like a taunt, if more than like, okay. if nothing yeah. else. Because especially at this point, like if you, because that was going to be one of my beefs actually was why didn't they ask when they get to Jerry? They don't even ask like, hey, like you weren't the one sending us these things. Like how are we getting these red? Th they don't even sure. ask him. They just pull Jerry out of the thing. You're like, you're no, gonna I help us go. I, th I think they do ask him like, are you the one who was sending us messages? It's really quick. It's like, okay. When first I'm, pull them out, and he doesn't say anything. Obviously. So, yeah. uh, okay, I think it's just one of those things it. where like I was I was plugged in for pretty much the entire movie. I'd like to think I was paying attention, but when no, uh, I'm enough, Jared. but when when uh, well, you, when you William or Will, whatever Wilford Wilford when Wilford. he when he pulls yeah. out the capsule and he shows it and reveals he's the one I was like, 
Oh yeah. Oh those things. Oh these things. I forgot about those. Like all well, right, I at guess. At a certain point, like, I think it's the point nature. He wasn't receiving them anymore. Well, like, yeah. well, the last one he gets is like, they were never important to me personally though. So maybe it's just like well, they, I, they definitely they stop being important after they get to Namgung. Sorry, Jerry. Which is um, like after which that, is like after a third that, of the way into the movie. Yeah, they are technically meaningless. Every meaningless every after single that. time he pulled out one of those capsules, I was just like, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, it's I think. <laughs> I think okay. that uh, it only make it, it makes plenty of sense to instigate like they had a plan and the, the plan needed to know what a milestone was and mm. knowing that they could go get a, a security expert that could get him through the gates like the, all of the notes prior up until the start of the movie and the first one that oh, we yeah. see is to know like okay this plan will work because if we just go up these three gates or whatever four gates yep. um, we'll get to Jerry and Jerry is going to help us get the rest of the way yeah. and like without that information they wouldn't know that and they would have exactly. no plan With, yes. without the red letters at all they there wouldn't be a revolution. They wouldn't have. The, can, they would have had like but the you are, information to know. Like, oh, we I can, can understand that. Do um, I, but you I do are correct like, past that point. You are correct past that. Past that, that point, they become they less are, relevant. But I think that is also relevant to the story. Like, so it's relevant to the story, but not relevant to their maybe pro progress. Either, either I, I just missed the really critical ones at the very beginning to know how they got that information, or. Mm -hmm. I can I can admit that like those red letters were probably crucial to actually starting the revolution like pre movie before the stuff that I had seen. I can leading admit leading up to it, but like well, I, I must the, have missed the, the like whole, the really important it, ones that. Well, the only you need to know. Imagine the, the, you're the down in the one. you're you're in the back and you're getting these letters from like beyond where you can see. So no, I I, I understand like, that, oh, but they never so felt. Someone above is here helping. They never felt out, useful like or significant. I understand like that getting those there what is definitely like a super significant thing, but just like the one letter things that they were getting or the one word things, I'm just like after. I mean, after, sure. Like that so like yeah, so after they actually start the revolution, they're they're meaningless. But cuz I didn't everything uh, up until that point. I didn't well, I didn't actually, realize they, that they got the the information about Jerry from those red letters. I'm just I just thought it was like, oh, Wait, this is just yeah, some yeah. intel they gathered. Okay, I'm fine with that. That's I didn't realize that was part of the letters. I, am I remembering this right? Y'all tell me if I'm remembering. Do they not get a red letter that says bullets on it? Bullets? Oh. Uh, this says bullets. The, the I don't way think the so. way that think, Chris, Chris Evans knew was that knew was what uh, Mason said. Oh, it was because Mason said yeah. that. Okay. All right. Sorry, that was. I bet that you put down that useless gun, and then he was like remembering all the times he saw empty clips, yeah. like just walking around. And then he two, tested two, the two gun together. in the stupidest way possible. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> it, was bad. It, was, it was the most it was effective bad way to get everyone else. He could have just held it above clean. his head. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but I, was, I think for his character, his character, sense. like he's <laughs> like, all right, I, I'm like this like reluctant leader. I need these people to know exactly that there's no bullets in here. I'm yeah. just gonna point it right at my fucking head. Yeah, fair and either, enough. Because well, because either, Cause that, either I thought it was just a little bit of movie how, cheese. Imagine how fired up you're gonna be if the guy who you're gonna follow just like points a fucking gun at his face mm. and pulls the trigger nothing happens you're like oh no hell like, bullets. I pull this guy anywhere he doesn't, he doesn't consider, consider himself, himself leader, leader but i think but he's very he's very practical though right because even like the even no gilliam that was Ed says Ed. To him, I'm sorry. even gilliam says to him like if they have bullets and you're wrong we're done mm -hmm. like exactly. the plan yeah. doesn't work like the whole the, the whole plan is sort of built on them not having bullets yeah. so so either so either the revolution was going to like succeed or they were all going to die so like he he was basically just like making the that choice right then and there. So I guess to me, it didn't, like, it didn't I'm either I'm either, me. I'm either right, yeah, because yeah, if he was wrong, they were all dead anyways. Dies. Right, and right, it's right. Better for him to be the only one who dies if he's wrong. Yeah, than everyone else. I, I was fine because with it he, in the moment, but he, then like 30 minutes later, I was like, you know what? Hang on, honestly, hang on a second. If he if he, if he, if he like puts different. the gun like up in the air and it does it, 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 there is a bullet in there and it doesn't shoot him. Well, yeah. then he's still just get, like everyone's getting killed anyways. They're still gonna, yeah, like, because right, he's this riot is happening. Yeah, sure. but like basically necessary. Mm -hmm. Anything that wasn't, you say that, that wasn't you anywhere get, near. I mean, that wasn't anywhere near one of my <laughs> biggest beasts with the movie. It was just a little thought that I had. It's like, all right, I probably would have pussied out of that and done that differently. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I you're agree, also I not a leader, is... Jared. I mean, come on, are you gonna <laughs> I, lead a revolution? I, I don't. Think I agree. So. There's there's an element of cheese to it, but I think it's all sort of like validated it. once you once once you get yeah, to like yeah. when when you find out like what this character's motivations are at the end as well, like. Mm -hmm. He clearly oh, is okay yeah. with dying. Like he kind of hates himself. He kind of so. wants yeah, to yeah, die. Yeah. Like he, he really would like to die, mm. <laughs> but uh, but he has other people that depend on him now because yeah, he like, has he, this he like has second responsibilities. Chance. He doesn't want to die at the expense of others. Sure. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, so yeah, we get through all the red letter stuff. He's talking with Gilliam about yes. their plan. They're going through it. They're planning stuff. Um, and then we we kind of skip up to the point where like the the soldiers come in and start ask like rounding up the children and like yes measuring the them and stuff. Together. Um, yep. We got we got Claude who just seems to like. It's it's interesting. It's like eyebrow raising when she's like, you know, measuring the kids, like uh -huh. figuring uh -huh. out what stuff. What are you, what are you doing? So I'm uh, that's that's curious. And then I'm skipping ahead a little bit. Her her next appearance <laughs> in the movie at the very end. <laughs> at the very end, she just end, seems yeah. to have a thing for measuring things. So she's like measuring the bomb for some reason. Oh yeah, that, I'm just I like, know what? That wasn't, okay, I now that, that doesn't that make sense. Cool like <laughs> no, I, it, there's no reason for that. It's yeah. just weird. That's like, like her quirk, quirk. I guess. Quirk. I mean, I guess she. Because I mean, it makes sense in the context just, of the like, movie, weird... measuring the kids. That's fine. Yeah. And also, yeah, yeah I was expecting something extra weird because, like, when she got like hit by the shoe, that Andrew and react to it. No, she react like she got the blood, and she and was like, her finger. She didn't lick her finger. Yeah. She was like, Oh yeah, she was. She, she was deep throated that shit. I'm like, Yeah, it was okay. There's some <laughs> weird was, fuckers up like, there. Oh, in yeah, there. she was Thank tickling you. her uvula with that one. <laughs> so I guess she her character trait was just weird. Yeah, I, I, I mean, like, it's kind of like you kind of have to be to be like the enforcer of Mr. Wilford or whatever the fuck she was yeah. supposed to be. She was also like, introduced as a character from the crime to be a normal person. I guess not. Yeah. yeah. And that's obviously uh, contrasted definitely... by her bright yellow outfit and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, thought, I just thought it was a little bit overkill. All brown, like shit colors. And everyone, mm -hmm. like the further you get, the more like saturated their like the colors in their mm -hmm. clothing gets. Yeah, I think I think like they maybe like tried a little bit too hard to make her weird, considering like the role she played. Like that yeah. was that's the kind of weird you expect from like a tertiary character, but she was right. a little bit more important than that. Yeah, um, I think it's just like but, trying to explain fairly, like, fairly. why is she the one that that Mr. Wilford is always like trusting to do things because you know, yeah, she's like, gonna like, get shit done, I guess. I guess. Yeah, she's super no weird, but you can she... count on her to do it. Right, like yeah. she's intimidating by her like her weirdness intimidates people. I sure. would say. Yeah, so, I mean that's, that's true. true. One of those I feel like I feel like Mason had better bodyguards than Wilford did. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, yeah. So there's a, it gets super weird towards the end when it's like all of the securities in the middle of the train, and that was that was it. And then Wilford's got like no protection. Yeah. There's just like yeah. one door in his room, kind of a thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can we rank the weirdest characters? Um, <laughs> we have to include everyone from the club scene then. Oh my god. Oh god. Well, that we'll get to that. <laughs> what they're like dr seuss who hair <laughs> dude honestly i was spotting like dr seuss stuff all over the place like yeah, everyone was, was a who <laughs> actually the, yeah there's sorry there's multiple dr seuss references that i had throughout this whole movie <laughs> um well i really did appreciate though that uh after watching alien with john hurt we got another john hurt movie with oh, uh, yeah, Gillian. Right, john hurt yeah. Yeah, I we just got to keep watching these like weird dystopian John Hurt movies. <laughs> I mean, let's watch uh, Be for Vendetta next. <laughs> exactly. I think that's a perfect segue. <laughs> I'm sure Jared hasn't seen it. I guarantee he hasn't. No. As we so, go to add to the list. So, uh, yeah, so the, you got the Claude measuring kids and they're taking away yep. little Timmy and whatever Andrew's son's name is. I forget. Andy. Andy. Yeah, because uh, yeah. really, Chris really clever. Of, they're not very clever. I mean, yeah. listen, they're back trainers. They can't. They're, they're clearly idiots. <laughs> they're they're caboosers. They so eat they, brown they... bars of gelatin. And they don't question it. They like shit themselves over. What else over. are you going to like, oh, Give me that fucking brown shit. Well, I mean, they have at, they at had that point, other they, options. They had well, them. They, they weren't that appealing. <laughs> They ran out. I of don't know. Them. Apparently, some of them taste better than others. Ah, so oh, I've heard. Yeah. So I've heard. We'll, 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 get, we'll get there. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, they take those kids away. And then this is pretty much a, like the, the inciting is the day before where they're about to, like, you know, actually do their revolution. Yeah. Like, rounding up all these barrels and things to make their little barricade thing. Oh, are you going to skip over Let's the arm? Let's not skip over the arm. We're not skipping over the arm. Oh, I, I guess we did just You that. are it, skipping over the arm. I was going to get to that arm. next. I was I was, I was basically right. glossing over that Last to get to the arm thing. Um, okay. So, okay. yeah, I yeah, my brain's all jumbled right now. So, to, while those <laughs> okay. kids are getting carried away, I forgot that that's where yes. he, like, chucks yeah. the shoe. That's, he and throws that's the shoe at her. He's like, don't take my son. Yes. Boom. Mm -hmm. And Blood. then... Uh, yeah, Licks then she just... Thing. And then... She's doing that. Then Mason shows up. Then Mason shows yep. up, and then they're punishing Andrew. They they have this whole system where they like clock his arm in. I feel like 
seven minutes is a pretty conservative estimate. It sounds like he lost all feeling within like 15 seconds, but that's oh, fine. Just, just keep stopped, it up. Yeah, stop screaming after a little while. Like yeah. it's just numb at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, I think it, um, it didn't the seven, the seven minutes is for, it's a freeze completely solid. I guess so. I guess, yeah. I guess, yeah. Like, because obviously, like, there's still blood flow. It's not about just like, oh, like frostbite. No, like, it needs sure, to be like sure. completely solid, fr like solid frozen through, so it yeah. can shatter. I, I, I like well, that. I like also, that. Also, if uh, and if it had only taken like 15 seconds the to freeze, then blood. then when they finally get out of the train at the end, it would have been like you did. It would have been actually like <laughs> yeah. apocalyptic. Out day there, after, for sure. day after tomorrow or whatever. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, they oh. they do their, their whole punishment thing, and okay, so we're gonna get to I think what is my. It's probably second biggest beef with the movie. Primary primary beef. One of my primary beefs during okay. Mason's during Mason's whole speech when she's her, talking her about speech, stuff yeah. and she's like holding the shoe and she says that whole thing. It's like everyone has their own preordained position, like and she does yeah. that whole arm thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's meant to like you don't like that. Just seems like a quirk. But like I see it. She does it twice, and I'm like, okay, so that's important, right? And you understand uh -huh. why it's important by the end when Wilford does that right. exact same thing and he's simulating the, the motion that the kids are doing to keep the engine running. I'm just like, right. hang on. Why, why does this foreshadowing exist for anyone other than the audience? Like, who would do this? For and and also I mean, why, it's probably just she, like a they. She, you know? I I think that's just kind of like they like a religious see thing? this the, yeah like they see this train as like a god like this the sacred sure. engine essentially like it, the sacred engine yeah so obviously they're gonna have like weird sort of like like that's like maybe a sacred motion to them it's like, I think it's dumb that's it's, the way that's I think the way the dumb. train continues. Yeah. Yeah. move like i think it's just like a quirk of of the of who does everyone now, does everyone it, know that the kids do that does that are, does everyone know of this ecosystem that wilford has like cultivated I mean, they don't on know the train the, specifically me, the kids me, do no that, that's yeah. something me, that's been like passed down like the cars essentially why like, would it pass down no no one no it's it's because well, they no, assume that wilford, that's just like no uh, like a religious no thing. i'm on jared's side because wilford nobody knows about what happens with the kids except for wilford like that's very clear i'm not saying that's anyone why. knows about the kids I'm saying they just know about the hand gesture. But why, why would why they know about they? the hand Wilford, gesture? Wilford, Who started Wilford that? Wilford wouldn't. Wilford like, was I, now. If now, Stephen, if Wilford to like when Claude was in the room, like was using that gesture to talk to as like, like they would have to it, they would have to imply in some way that that Wilford was constantly doing this, and that then other people who met Wilford saw him do it and then translated that language. And if he was like, constantly how, doing how that, then way. why? How other like wow. there's no other way besides him giving it out intentionally for them to gain it and then to also have some religious significance of it. He has to directly give it to them because he is the only one who knows what the significance of that move is, because it's pretty much implied that the kids stay there and die there. They're not uh -huh. like they're not like growing up and then leaving and then like going out into the like society with yeah. that hand motion. Yeah. So I, I I have to agree with Jared on this one that it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's it's one like, of those. I, it's a bit odd. I d I definitely like I don't I just don't have no issue with it. It's oh, just like that's thing. fine. Yeah. I, well, I, it, it, it was it was like... more of just like a, it, it was similar to those capsule things where like Wilfred does it at the end. I'm just like, oh oh yeah, I guess that was for shit. That's kind of dumb though. Like it is. And, yeah. and the reason I have yeah, a problem with that. Like a is because I feel like this movie has a lot of different other examples of foreshadowing done well. Particularly, I sure. think my personal favorite scene of the movie is the, the sushi bar scene, when she's talking about the ecosystem of the fish and why they always have to yeah, like eat sushi like twice a year and how that connects with like, very yes. specifically all the numbers. So when I, when I was like, you know, watching the scene with Wilford and, and Chris Evans, like, you know, I'm referencing the character's name and the actor's name <laughs> when they're having <laughs> dinner and he's explaining what this whole purpose is. I'm just like, oh, it's kind of like the fish. Oh, they, they've been discussing this already. And I thought that was really clever. Um, but then he did the whole that thing. I was like, oh, that's the same thing, but but, but worse. That's not good. I, I don't like that one. <laughs> yeah. That was my only no, personal I, beef with that. Yeah, like, uh, I, I'm between you guys. I don't think it's, like, the worst thing in the world, but I do agree I that, like, it like stands it stands out. It stands out as being not the best decision to, like, make for the world. Literally the only it, reason that gesture exists is to have a foreshadowing moment for the audience to go, oh, in my opinion. Otherwise, I it's, feel like you it, have to jump through a bunch of hoops to try and like. You, no, I think it's you're. Probably, I think you're right. I don't. Know. I think I think you're. I think you're right. I'm, I I pretty much agree with you on that one. But I uh, I, I liked uh, all of 
Mason, Mason's speech was great. Just you know, set the tone like, for like what pe actually, how people like in the back are well. treated. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I liked that they tried to translate at the beginning. He's like, we don't, dude, we have only have seven minutes. <laughs> we have that, that's, sort of, that's the good character <laughs> that down. I was really drawn to. Like, yeah. it, it was so absurd, and the fact that like no one was taking things seriously despite the stakes was what made it really interesting. Mm -hmm. but, um. It, it, that's when I started to kind of like have my radar on for like the Willy Wonka ness this, of it because like yeah. these are like Willy Wonka characters. This, now. this man is being like is ex experiencing excruciating torture. Uh, torture, maybe like he's it's he's torture, going through something yeah. that's going to be awful for well, him. Like this yeah. man is experiencing probably one of the worst moments of his life, and then this goofy shit's happening right next to him. She's putting I a shoe you, on his head. I wager the time the time after the seven minutes is worse than probably. Oh, would he have felt it? I guess he. I mean, from the I movie, would, he definitely um, did. But would he? I, I mean, know. you'd feel like. Like the the end of it where it's getting like I guess so off, like yeah I guess frozen part okay that, that was actually that another to, I think yeah. that was the first moment Ooh. for me where I was just like oh this is a Korean film because uh, they didn't uh, show in excruciating detail his arm just shattering which yeah, I would have expected yeah. they, in an R-rated uh, movie they, showed, they cut yeah, away they from it was like the hammer like smashing mm -hmm. down they didn't show it hit and then they nope. showed him like sweeping pieces. up the pieces because after I that. I know I, that particularly in like in like foreign um markets and stuff like it's basically uh -huh. flipped in terms of what kind of content gets censored for america it's all the sex stuff and then yep. but violence is anything goes and it's kind of the yeah, opposite true. in most other countries so when they cut away from that it's like oh oh i was expecting to see something horrifying here but they just you know cut away. yeah so um, that was my first but flash I like was oh yeah this is a, i thought that was I, yeah. I think that benefited. I think the, it did too. Because we just, didn't it need just, to, like, it went against my expectations happened. of what I'm used to seeing in movies like oh, that. Oh, same. I think, same. I think it would have been too much to actually see it. I, I agree, agree, but that wouldn't have movie. stopped most people or most directors from doing oh, that. A, a, an American movie would have shown that because they would have thought this is like worth the money we're putting in. This is yes. going to be a really right. powerful scene. You yes. can see like how violent this society so, yeah, is. Yeah, I'm not, they, I'm not so flagging this as a negative, but I am flagging it as just like a, oh, now I'm realizing I'm watching this by somebody who's like, not a typical different culture who, I, who i'm used to seeing and make movies you know yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. that was that, that was my first that like, as well oh. yeah so but i was i don't know if i don't know about you guys but i was just like Ugh! the whole time though like the second they started to put the uh the collar on his arm like i know what they're doing what yeah the fuck? Oh, yeah my, oh my yeah. god Shit, like did, i mean it's it's a fucked up way <laughs> to like punish someone holy yeah. shit and thank Obviously, god all the systems were in place to savage. do it yeah oh but yeah. um did did, 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 did y'all do this sort of like flipping around in your brain though where like after that happened you started to look at like gilliam and other people that were missing limbs yes like, oh, so i thought that's what been... i thought that's what they were doing yeah same. Uh, so like because no, a bunch I, I of thought... people everybody who stood up in defiance of what just happened to him were missing limbs they were missing and I'm just like, limbs, oh yeah. and like gilliam was like oh shit this dude is a rebel rebel rouser i guess like, I thought yeah, that was, exactly. I thought that and was, that, and I think that was intentionally to mislead you for that. I think it was. Yes. And I, I thought that was pretty cool. They actually yeah. lost the arms. I mm -hmm. really, I really appreciated that because it, it made yeah. me immediately see Gilliam's character as like, this is why he's the leader. And like he has been even, willing to stand up yeah, every yeah, time despite knowing the consequences. The and here's the thing, they didn't, um, that wasn't like, that's just something you, either. that's just something <laughs> you noticed, right? That wasn't explained yeah. ever that no. all these people got up with missing limbs and they're just going over there. Like you just made that yeah. connection. You didn't have to have the movie treat you like an idiot and just exactly. So it's like, they oh man, I know how you're phone. feeling, man. You'll get through it or whatever. Like exactly exactly yeah you got it master Ugh. also I, I agree james cameron would have literally just stood in front of that arm and like he's like all right so i'm gonna frame it here with like a really uh long lens or a really short lens actually and so the, you can see like the arm's really gonna wide. be made of styrofoam so we're gonna smack it <laughs> yeah well because we can't do it with a real arm and they're like no no that'd like be crazy. Uh, james you know we can't do it with a real arm he's like yeah yeah but like we can make it look like it right and they're like well there's some things we can do but like if you don't make any like all right, I want to get a nice like macro kind of shot like of the fingers and... <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. and they're like, oh, okay, I guess we'll do this. It's going to look weird. He's like, no, 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 I think it's going to look fine. No, no, I'm, I'm a genius. You, you I'm, a gen I'm James Cameron. I have this I'm... idea for a movie called Titanic. And just wait like <laughs> Ever 10 years. Heard so it? It'll blow your mind. <laughs> You're going to love it. Gonna Everyone's going to be uh, kiss, kiss my dick over it. <laughs> like, just just kiss like, it, though. Just that's as far as it'll go. Just a little... Oh, no, it's, it's polite. Cool it's like it's like a family love thing. It's respect. <laughs> respect. You, it's you like, it's kiss like kissing the rings, you, you know. Love. But it's just like exactly, kissing the head. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> kissing the foreskin. <laughs> kissing kissing the, the head. <laughs> kiss the tip. Tip kiss. They aren't worthy of more than kiss. 
<laughs> so yeah, he, he gets his arm uh, busted open. Like this is this is the all shoot. this is all good stuff. Like I've been enjoying all it's of all this solid. so far. It's, it's great. It's solid world building. It. It's great establishment yeah. of the I feel stakes. The, I feel the gravity. Yep, all that all that good stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And then we should we fast forward just to the day of like the revolution itself? Like I mean, they're yeah, not, said, yeah you, they you, obviously you have like yeah, some. There's some setup with the barrels. There's, there's some, some setup with the barrels. They, they discover. Oh, the it was around that time. Oh, when uh, after the arm gets smashed and all the amputee people start coming up. Yeah, yeah. That's when Mason says, "Put those useless guns down," and that's what clues Curtis right. into. It was like, "Hey, they probably don't have any bullets." And I also mm -hmm, thought yeah. that that was a an interesting development of just like. I mean, yeah, it would make sense after like 17 years. Maybe they would run out of bullets. Like, I right. maybe yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, no I, didn't, I didn't sure. think of that. So cool. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. That that definitely makes things I, a lot I more appreciate believable. That as well. It was it was consistent with the story they were telling. It, like, it, the it world wasn't set, only made some rules and it followed the rules. It it, it didn't only serve just serve a a functional purpose, like a plot purpose of just like, hey, here's how it works, but a world building purpose as well. Just like, hey, they've been on this train for 17 years, like. There's literally shit that they can't get anymore. Um, yeah. So it, it served multiple purposes, which I liked. Um, so yeah, that was that was neat. Uh, we get to the day of the revolution. Um, Chris Evans does his little suicide shtick, and then they figure out that oh, they don't man. have bullets, so they they you know plow through that thing. Charge. I also love how with that battering ram it breaks apart and then people just come out of the barrels. Yeah, that was oh, such yeah, a cool yeah. like, infiltration know, method. That's sweet. That was the whole point of them being barrels and why he was like, make sure this one's like tightened here. Because I'm like, oh, that's a tunnel that people are going to be crawling through. Oh, I, I, I thought, I thought their original plan with the barrels was just to like bl keep all the doors open long enough, you know? I think, I think that that's why well they made like the... a specific framing of like all the barrels they were picking up had no like top or bottom. They were I all, guess so. Like they were always like people like you could see through. Well, yeah, I mean, they yeah, would, yeah like, that makes sense them. now. But when I was first watching, I was like, oh, they're going to jam the doors. And when they, people started coming out, I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that it's where cool. uh, Gray comes from? Like that kid that's like doing gym, gymnastics. He doesn't come through. He he runs over the. Oh, top he runs over the. They, yeah. they like call for him or something. Yeah, well, yeah. like uh, yeah. Gilliam's just like does, go on, go on, Gray. And it's just like him. all right. Does he die? die? What no. happens to that dude? Oh, he absolutely he dies. dies. Where it, does he die really, again? It's really sad. It's really he dies sad. Dies in like the sauna the, room. The head of security in the yellow room. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah, I remember. And that like classic like movie stab death where. Where it's like slowly yeah, like, like, pressed mm -hmm. in your heart. Oh. He saves oh, Curtis's life. That's by, right. Like stabbing that's it right. through his hand. Yeah. And then I'm, there's this whole like shuffle. And then he like still with the knife in his hand gets stabbed. I'm so heart. mad. That's, I'm so mad that things yeah. go that way. I'm like, right. why are they know, They're making I, this security guard looks like a badass. But he's not. Kill him already. <laughs> fucking kill this guy. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, great. Great. What a fucking cool character. Oh, yeah, I yeah, love yeah, great. Like awesome. that was such a cool character. I love that he didn't speak. He just showed up and killed motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah dude. Although, like, although there he was. does, he just like jumps up, stabs that guy, and like heart like pulls it up, and then just like has the keys he's hanging from the ceiling. That was a great introduction to his character. Character, I do think uh -huh. that that first guy he killed was a bit of a goofball. I'm just like, oh, the big, the big, the, the he's big muscle like, guy swinging oh, the weight around. Oh, oh. Yeah, like, yeah, all right, that's a little cheesy, but I was... well, yeah, I, at the, I, we were at the point though where like we Mason's character and the things that they were doing on the train, like this was clearly kind of like was, uh, the, kind of were, like yeah, it just they were exaggerating. The the everything was a going bit. to be exaggerated and goofy. Like, yeah, 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 it yeah. didn't. It, it was consistent, and it was telling us like, and I guess there's going to be interesting characters from here on out. And I, I yeah, guess like, the, the crew, to be over the, the, re the rebels, didn't really have any like weapons at the time. Because at the at the at the time, oh. I was watching this dude like slowly swing back and forth this little thing. I'm just like, you, he's giving you a lot of openings. Like you can just, just get in there and stab just, him. Just, yeah, they didn't. They didn't. All they had yeah. were like uh, like lead pipes and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that, that makes that sense. That that was, and and also, them. they're probably scared. You know, like they're not all. Oh, yeah, like, they're not awesome. all grays. Like imagine you, a bunch you say of like, like oh, like yeah, just run in there in between. But like, like if you get caught on the swing back of that giant thing, you're going down and probably gonna get killed. I well, it, so. show, it showed me again, like um, and like they're consistent with this, or at least like the way that like you sort of elevate as you in time as you go through the train, like this mm -hmm. the type of like warfare that's happening. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. it starts off very like primitive and starts to become more and more like, and then it's like medieval and stuff. So yeah, I thought this fit that. Fire. It gave me it gave me this sort of like Troy feeling of like that sort of uh, 
like um, Trojan War battlefield where there's like the big guy that no one will will fight until uh, Achilles, yeah. Achilles shows up in and just yeah, finishes actually, them off. That makes sense. Yeah. So like it, like because I definitely interpreted the train as like going from like primitive to like the most futuristic. So yeah, the, I definitely the war, like the warfare fit the same as you go through. Theme to it. Yeah. yeah. So I was okay with this guy being like a Raw! and everyone being scared of him because it gave me that vibe of like the like a sure, Trojan battlefield sure. kind of a mm-hmm. thing. It, it was just a weird like mildly not, cartoony like, moment for me but not, I, it didn't it's not, not wrong, like a, it's, weird. A, it's not like a it totally took me out of the movie yeah. i'm just like it, it, I, I don't even think i reacted to it it was more of just like a maybe there was something that just like popped in my brain it's like huh. but that was that was like so i just i just remember that scene is the thing you, which yeah. is maybe the, the interesting part. thing is you're, is you're not wrong it is weird mm. it's super weird but like so are a, a lot of things that follow so. yeah, 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 yeah yeah um i i guess you know what maybe that was mm, no maybe mason is that like the first like really dramatically weird thing that happens on their nah, way Mason's up the train? The first. Mason's, Mason's probably Mason the first, is the first right? Yeah, because like, yeah. that's the first time where I'm like, all right, front front car people are just going to be batshit crazy. Like yeah. that's like immediate, like apparently apparent to me. You can tell mm-hmm. just by the look in her you can eyes. Tell just by yeah. the look, like the way like, Claude, she's talking. Like, I mean, Claude like, shows up just, before oh, yeah. that, right? Yeah, they're <laughs> just like over the top, like yeah. ridiculous characters. Mm hmm. They're, they're probably like, all kind of on ex- like some chronal like they're all like they'll take drugs, you know, so they uh, they yeah, eventually do sure. They eventually do get to like the next car in the train and another nice little piece of world building is um, They're only like a couple trains up right and they are just enamored by the fact that these people have windows And they just get oh, blinded on, uh, by the light uh, so- that comes through you are technically skipping over where okay. they get Jerry. They get um, Jerry. Oh my god! I skip all the yeah, all yeah, this. They get, they get the him. Room. They that's get the him first before they. You're right. You're right. Because that's like, that's like literally like a couple cars ahead. Which is yeah. 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 It was and over the, the the four minutes that they had to get there, or whatever it yeah. was. Yeah, that's it was that's four that's seconds. They, that was four pretty, seconds. Oh, four get, seconds. That was how had, long yeah. the doors were open. Seemed like it was. Seemed like it was longer than four seconds. They probably got the the battery ram through within four seconds, maybe. Yeah, they like once once Curtis got the little like cart, they could like push it a lot faster, and then he rode it all the way to victory. Yeah, well, that's I was I was getting like antsy when they're like, yeah, it's four seconds. Okay, and now I'm glad that it is four seconds because I start. I told myself it was four minutes after because oh. I thought I was wrong. Um, because <laughs> because when all the gates open and Curtis is still just standing there, I'm like, dude, you got four seconds. What are you doing? Why yeah. are you second guessing? Like you have to do it now. <laughs> I, I forget when how when, when exactly those four seconds started, but I think that's what uh, they were you're, saying. Yeah, you're um, right. It might have been with, like as soon as they were done opening, and that was what like maybe, the difference was. Right. Maybe. Like there's four seconds between like when that one guard is kind of Holy turned so maybe he was waiting for out. the the perfect moment for all those doors to be open to do his thing or that's whatever. That's probably what it was. Yeah. Um. But yeah. And so then, they, they get to Jerry from there. Yeah, because uh-huh. they get they yeah. get the the key ring off of the big guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then they yeah. immediately go and open up. Jerry, 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 which yeah. what, what a what a horrifying way to do prison, by the way. Like, oh, he, was yeah, so ch- he was so sore. chill in there, though. Oh, I mean, he was on. He was high on Chrono. No, he so. wasn't. He wasn't high on Chrono. Remember, he was still riding that high for. <laughs> no, no, like didn't like doesn't. It I basically swear, say I that swear, they, they still kind of got the high. They were still they were kind of like using it on screen and stuff, even if it wasn't like their were primary they? purpose. They were still like. I don't know well, how to use Chrono, but I know he's talking about while they were in the in the prison drawers. Oh, I don't well, know I about that. I, I don't think I so. Think in general, I just assume that it's like normal prison where you can still kind of get stuff. No, no, no. I, my, 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 no, my beef isn't. Or or in a my, my question isn't like were they able to get Chrono in their prison cells? Mm. It's were they ever using Chrono? Because the whole idea. I don't is know. Yeah, always, yeah. I think because I, at the I, end, Stephen, maybe were. maybe you missed the Stephen because you weren't. Oh yeah, it was Korean. Before, but they were definitely getting high off that shit at the beginning. Yeah. They, but they, no, was, they were only they sniffing pro- it though. I think I think so, it. Well, okay, I mean, here's the thing. Here's saying. the thing. There's li- okay, hang no, on. no, shut up. I need oh, to say this. Okay, Stephen. They literally a character literally says, "Don't put that so close to your nose." That's how they hallucinate. It's the smelling. It is what gets you high off that, that stuff. So anytime they were rubbing them together and smelling them, they were getting high. Let me let me be the middle. Man here. So yes, they were like, you know, like doing that whole thing. But Steven, what you missed out in the subtitles was that I didn't guy, miss out on anything. Was that guy saying he's like, you didn't think uh, I was on. collecting this just to get high, do you? But the, I, I do I, think I, that I means get, that he was still was using it. He was get still high. getting high, but he also that the reason he grabbed all like the shitload of it at the end was to blow everything up. Like, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so is it that like his plan to use the chrono only started like when they got him out? It wasn't that. No, like, he said he's been collecting it for ten years. Plan. 
Yeah, I'm sure he always planned to use it, but he was also okay. like, you could also just rub them together and just get high. Yeah, off I definitely them, but, think that okay. they were getting high on screen. There's no way that they were. They were, they were smelling them constantly. I, yeah. I wasn't sure that that was exactly. It was just the smelling that got you high. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, just, it's just the smelling because uh, I think Curtis says that to Edgar or someone. Uh, to to Tanya or whoever her name was. Yeah, because so she's is that, like putting it towards her she nose. Just, like, she's like, he's like, oh, that's, oh, that's, oh. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Then that's why do you why do you it. why do you need more of it then? Like, if you can just smell it, like it, it, I assume that the material itself know. is what's giving it, off. They, the they smell. looked like they were like rubbing them together or something. So maybe that's yeah, some way like, to like expend yeah, them. Probably, yeah, they were they're rubbing together and making like this like dust. It was a very vaguely defined drug, which obviously the the drug purposes of it was not important. Was to so he could blow shit up at the end. Okay. Yeah. So I, sorry, I didn't. I didn't catch that it was just the smell alone that did it. I thought it, it was like, like it seemed like an I thought, I, I thought when they said be careful, it was like the contact or like like actually like crushing it up and snorting it or something. I, I was actually it had to be uh, something more than just smelling it. I, I was actually waiting for like because when they introduced like when uh, Curtis was still getting some, some person like just offhand throwaway comment like kind of distant away it's like it's very flammable too i'm like uh oh oh wait no that what that yeah, did yeah. come in candy with the bomb never mind yeah all right that's all good never mind yeah i, I, I thought they were going to use that for the torches in the dark scene subtitles on the only one who watched this movie <laughs> no 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 steven I, oh and also like i was asking why would you need more because if it's a smell-based thing i think i think oh, I, you're I'm saying well in within, general like i, th I as, think it's like, like with a, the drug itself why would i'm well with the, i'm well with, i'm well within the realm of being confused here because like if if it's the smell alone that get that gets you high like why do you why do you need more of it is the question is like if i just hold this cube as long as i have this cube i can always get high mm. because that thing emits a smell like and it clearly doesn't have like a sh it's not like a oh if it just sits around you can over smell it because I, they've uh, been around for 18 well, 20 it must years be like uh, you have to like rub it or like, i, I interpret it as more of then... like it wasn't the smell it was like inhaling the dust that comes off of it or something that's uh, yeah i yeah. would have i would have thought um but i mean you're still you're st like they're still doing it from an inhalation i don't think it was mm. just like you have this brick forever and just smelling it yeah and then like, and then if and then, to, then if, like, if it's, it it's just the smell like how potent is this like can like they were if they were carrying around even on their fingers and stuff shouldn't everybody be high it was just it's not the smartest drug like i would have preferred it if um, they said like they were like shaving bits off and snorting it or something. I'd be like, mm. okay, like this is like some charcoal thing. Like just the fact that I, smelling it gets you high, like kind of makes it a little loopy for me. Eh, eh I don't know. <laughs> Does that not bother you that like it, it just bother doesn't, me all it that doesn't much. bother me because it's it's like a like you imagine this like dusty powdery like thing. Mm, but you're saying then, dusty. You're, you're saying dusty powder. You're implying that it's the physical like mist of the powder coming off that that's gets what you I high. Think but, it is. They, but they're well, yeah, saying but it's like, just like. But they were doing that thing where they literally just were like getting down and smelling it. And you're saying that. No, got they were high. rubbing them. They were. They. It showed Tanya them rubbing was two about them to do that, and Curtis stopped. No, no, though, they were so. doing it with one at a time, though. They were doing things where they only had one, and they were just like holding it up to their nose. Uh, so they weren't like getting. They weren't like creating powder off of it. They were just holding I, it up to their nose. Yeah, I imagine it's something like there's like. Like it's like made of powder, so obviously there's just gonna be some in there. So if you hold it close enough to your nose, you're gonna get some, you're gonna inhale some. It's not just like uh just the smell. It's like you're you're inhaling the particulates from the thing. Yeah, like that that would make sense to me. Like mm. that it needs to be like in powdered form. It's like charcoal. I, 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 it I looks like charcoal, that... and charcoal itself is dusty. So yeah, like char char charcoal. It's made of dust yeah. basically. So like if you put your nose up to charcoal and inhale, you're getting some in your nose. <laughs> yeah, I think he did have them in like a tin can. Yeah. They were like a, either a tin can or like a cardboard box. I forget where he first pulled them out, but either yeah. way, we're spending too much time on this crawl. We are spending anyway, a lot of time. You know, on but this the crumb. one thing I did want to the one thing I did want to clarify though is like because I thought at the when I, when we got to the end, he said like I've only been like I was only like hoarding these things to escape. I thought oh so he was never getting high, and that then I was gonna ask mm. well why were they acting like they were trying to get high at the beginning? So I got confused. No, they were definitely there. getting high. So, so it, it was yeah. that they were getting high, but because they because they used to get high, they knew how this stuff worked. And I also the, think that their out, prime motive the was still collecting so it, many of them to collect was to blow shit up which arguably uh, this is going to start an argument uh we'll get to it at yep. the end they got too <laughs> much they got too much of it anyways <laughs> i don't need this well, much well, if all they wanted to do we'll wait for that because you're an idiot we'll wait for that we'll wait for that i don't okay. think i don't think he's right. an idiot all right okay so <laughs> so we get to we got jerry uh how many and there he's slowly like you know opening up the doors and stuff does anything interesting happen between then and the axe people 
Oh, uh, well, you said like that. So you um, like earlier, you brought up like that the windows were like yes. a jumping thing for them. Mm -hmm. Like that was the f that's the first cart after getting Jerry. Yes. Well, yeah, there's that. And then we have where the protein where bars the protein from. bars get made. Oh, that's right. And where the protein bars get made. Through this yeah. thing, you kinda, you're like, oh, is uh, what's her name? Is she clairvoyant sort of shit? OK, yeah, that's yeah. now we can talk about another thing that I had a problem with. Why that, is she? That's something the that's only, something I could agree on. Like I like it, it never really becomes it didn't, the it's only not reason that that cool. whole aspect exists is for her to somehow like at the very end when her instincts were to like start know digging at the ground knowing there's a kid under yeah. there uh yeah. there was here hang on hang on da, da, you da. Got some? yes so this doesn't justify it but here is uh here's what it says on imdb according to the filmmakers trained babies like yona developed animalistic hearing skills oh okay that, I, I, that's I never could, mentioned at all in the movie. In the movie. And so no, if, if I, you I didn't go to IMDb, I can understand how this would ruin, like, not ruin the movie. Like, just be like a, this no, doesn't make no, sense. They this doesn't need to be here. Because it's, it, a, it's an interesting explanation, but it, since it's not in the movie, it's not. Exactly, well, but, exactly. But, but they, it's it's not even, like, because you could argue, like, well, it is in the movie because she has it. They just don't explain it. But here's the problem. Like, if they say that this is what happens with kids that are born on the train, you should see and at least one other character. You should see it in yeah, Edgar. He's basically a trained baby, too. He was uh, an that's infant. True. Yeah. That's true. Edgar is a trained baby. And so he Edgar somehow developed a Scottish like, accent. Out of <laughs> yeah. Well, <it's> <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's actually not a bad point. Although, like, I did, I did think it was odd. There wasn't a lot of, like, diversity on the train. Um, they were mostly like, white the, people. It was mm -hmm. mostly white and, like, American, like, accent people. Sure. Or, I guess... Yeah. I mean, there's primarily, a bunch of primarily. Stuff. There was a, there was a couple um, of people. There was like some Japanese people near the front, um, at least with the languages they were speaking. There's a Japanese well, guy. There's a Japanese guy in the barrel stolen. Yeah, that's right. He's just gonna say Sumo Sin. Sumo Sin. Like there's like a guy and there's like a uh, this person. Yeah. Like hmm. so, uh, we can talk th about this at the end. But there's some logistical things that I have questions about. Like where did they all get picked up? Did they get picked up along the way? Is this like? Sure. I mean, because it talks loaded a thousand people up on the back of the train at I some can, point. I can like, see this all like, like getting loaded up in America where on. there's like a a mix of all different and kinds of people but mostly white. That. Yeah. But then like but then why are there like exclusively Korean? I guess it's just like well it's America. Know. There could be non English Maybe. speaking. I don't know. We'll I, talk I, about this I, stuff later because it's like uh it's not relevant necessarily to the movie no. itself. It's just not really. I mean it is not, not this it's, like it's, story of it. Not the like, not this part of the narrative. It's just it's, like questions about the logistics of the like yeah, how it got there sure, kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Um protein protein factory. Right, we're the protein, protein factory. factory. We see that they're Meat. they're getting What's made out of face? grinded cockroaches. Paul. I, I think his name was oh, Paul. Paul, yeah. Yeah. Paul. Uh just and for some, some reason he's running allegedly. at the door. <laughs> yeah. Like so we can get a running start running and jump at the door. Up. He's just walking. No, he's running because that's what know. the clair this is the first time like we get the clairvoyance. She's like, he's running, and they're like, What? And then they open the door and he's oh. literally running and then jumps up onto the Yeah, and then before that she says, like, no one's behind this door. Like they they're slowly starting to establish it. Uh, but you're also questioning, like, why does this exist? Why is this happening? Like, yeah, because because yeah, when when, when you're going thing. through the doors, there's no reason for her to say like, hey, there's someone behind that door. Don't open that door. Blah blah. blah. They're like, gonna well, be keep got, moving forward. Like they're just we gotta open what? them regardless. There's one way. Yeah. So the yeah, only like, reason so that her stop? powers <laughs> exist is to know that there's a kid under her feet in the end. That was the only yeah. time when it was important. Yeah, right. right. You're, so, you are you are correct. Yeah. Um, because maybe, even, her, even when she does, her, without her senses, she would have never spotted that polar bear. Well, and also fuck <laughs> her senses because they were they were tuned enough to know that there was nobody and a side where they could be sleeping people. It could be dead silent over there. Yeah. And she's like, no, there's definitely no one there. But then when there's literally an army of guys smashing axes on the ground on the other side of the door, like, she's a little yeah. sex. Like, yeah. Wait, no, no. What? Okay. Like, well, the door's already open, like, bitch. At least it was at a least cool movie moment, but. The whole, her, all of her powers. No, her powers were dumb. The, the movie, mo the movie, I'll, I'll like, her powers the movie were the was, amulet yeah, of the movie. Were. Pretty much, like they were only <sighs> there to serve like one. <laughs> yes, that is a yeah. I don't, I don't want to do that to this movie, but um, <laughs> but definitely her powers were only there to complete no, her and thing at the end. Dustin. Worthless. The Justin, <laughs> not even a, not even a love interest, just some guy with a sword that's gonna lead the Ritz. Reeds. Reeds. <laughs> Just no reeds. Leader of the reeds. Doesn't even no, get a piece actually, of that dumpy. 
Oh, there weren't uh, there weren't writs in this movie, were there? No, there there you, would any there, you would have expected there to be some sort of like infestation, right? I mean, like I feel like cockroaches probably just have a better chance of surviving know, in this kind I of I think we all knew that the uh, protein bars were not all cool and well before. Yeah, but, but yeah. Like, yeah. I, I like obviously I didn't know specifically cockroaches, but I'm like, right, I thought I assumed it was like, actually. Like, I thought they're people, shit yeah. or something. I thought they were gonna be like. Like ground up people ground up people or something but like that would have that made sense like actually. Sort of green sort of situation. oh this was around the time like not maybe this around like, around the beginning of the movie i did not i did true. not give this rats. movie uh enough credit like i didn't know how how clever it was going to be with some of its themes and stuff so this is going back to the very beginning when edgar yeah, and creature. curtis were talking and he's just like mm -hmm. hey like uh Blah blah blah. He really looks up. No, not, not when Edgar and Curtis. When Curtis and Gilliam oh, were talking, he's like, well. I had this, "Edgar I had really looks thing. up to you." And blah, blah blah. He's like, "He doesn't know who I am." It's like, "Oh, so you're a front right. car guy, huh? You're a front car guy. Uh -oh. You probably came from the front." I'm like that it's would be a not. dumb thing to happen, but that's what this movie's gonna do, right? You're a front it's car guy. So they dumb. Did. And I'm they glad did. they so did. Kind of like, sort of like hint at that sometimes. It's like, oh man. Maybe he started out at the front. Like, why is Mr. Wilford inter so interested in him? Because they're like, oh, he's yeah, been yeah. watching you and all that shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah there'd yeah. be no other reason. So I, I I'm, like I'm, I'm glad they didn't do the stupid thing. stuff. Um, yeah, oh, they, they were a lot more uh, clever with it. But th this was around was the time. Gonna... This was at the very beginning of the movie, I'm just like, uh, sure. I'm still. This might be a dumb action movie. Let's see. I think it's okay. It's okay that you were in defensive mode. We've been burned a few times. It's mm -hmm. okay. Burn me. You, you burn me. I, I wasn't sure how plugged into this movie I was supposed to be at that time. Yeah, I so. I, I definitely understand. Mm -hmm. um, like the movie kind of like has to earn your trust like a little bit of the way in. Hurt. <laughs> But I John don't know, Hurt. man. Yeah, because basically Jared didn't trust Mastiff. That's what that's what the issue was. That's, that's he was like I was wasn't Mastiff sure. might have given me a like a five or below movie here, and I'm gonna treat it like that until proven otherwise. I wasn't sure. Five or below <laughs> um, tree. So, I, I, honestly, I went in not expecting much either. So okay, so so they're unlocking some gates. Anything else oh. interesting happened for Axe Boys? No, no, we're at the we're at the we're at the Axe Boys. I want, Axe Boys. I want it's to read basically just a little bit of exposition and stuff yeah. that's like not craziness i, so. I want to read one of my favorite bits of trivia it's the top piece of trivia on imdb right now regarding this okay. scene. Cool. director bong jun ho often clashed with producer harvey weinstein who frequently interfered in order to demand his vision of the film among oh. the many requests the producer insisted on having the fish scene removed in favor of more action bong who considered it his favorite shot in the film was adamant to keep it in he told the producer that he wanted to keep this shot in for a personal reason as a tribute to his late father who was a fisherman. Upon hearing this, Harvey Weinstein said that family is very important to him, so he granted Bong Aww. to keep the shot. In an interview, the director said, I mean, It was a fucking have... lie. My father's not a fisherman. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? I mean, Seriously? I thought that was cool. Like, like cut the, gut this fish and everyone put the fish's blood on your axes. Like, that's so it awesome. Was, it was unnecessary, I, but I loved the drama of it. Like, for a second, I was like, oh, is this like a poisonous fish? Connect. Reconnecting successful. We're back. Hello. Discord. Can you hear me? Discord is down. Close Discord. Open Discord. Log into Discord. See anything on stream? There we go. You don't? Oh. I should be back. At least OBS yeah, says I, I'm We back. hear you. Yeah. And I see the stream. All right, perfect. Just so, so what, just what were you to saying? Reconnect in terms to of Parsec. Oh, yeah. Parsec. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, Jesus. I have like, you guys are appearing twice on Parsec now, so I'm just going to close it and what? open oh. it. Cool. It's, yeah. Quit. There are, now there are two of me. Computer is currently hosting someone. I don't give a fuck. Whoa. <laughs> Jeez. Wait a minute. We're not on your computer. Who's being hosted? Set. 
All right. So yeah, that, that whole fish scene, it was basically, I, th I thought that was them, like trying to prove like, hey, these things are sharp. They're not just for show, like those guns. Uh, regardless of the reason, I thought it was a, a fun little visual moment. Just care. It's yeah. very, very character. I, I guess just, like, it's, it's also possible like, Maybe the reason he's like, oh, we have this fish that you guys can't even eat. We're just the sort of people who I like that sort of thing. Weapons. That's the sort of thing they like. The sort of thing they like. I my first thought when they showed up with the fish was, this is a negotiation. Like, wow. yeah, like I'll give you. Fi I did think that, like, I'll give you fish if you turn around. Like, yeah, so yeah. I thought that's like, what it was, but it then they started show, like, <laughs> it, it showed Curtis like looking at it, like, like he wanted like, I want to that. eat it. All I want that fish. He's like, like look at his lips, almost. Like, mm -hmm. it, it really that seemed fish. that way. Mm. But then again, this is another time that the movie was like, nope, whatever you think, you're stupid. They're gonna <laughs> yeah. dip, they're uh, dipping like the, their weapons in the fish's blood. Yep. The design of these characters, I was like, oh, cool. Cool. when the door was, opens, I'm just like, oh, fuck. Just these fucking <laughs> like, like eyeless masked people, like, yeah. which is like their weird mouths and stuff. Like, yeah. like and, and it only, and it, and it, and everyone it has like these like, more interesting. like weapons and shit. Like, oh, well, that's, and that's mm. what I'm saying, right? Like, you really get this climb of like, it started off almost like cavemen fighting. Fighting. Yeah, and like, yeah. and then now they're like in medieval times. They now literally like have like axes age. and spears and swords, like actual swords. And you can, you can why, really, do, yeah. why do they have those? <laughs> you can, you can really feel like the immediate threat of what this is because they establish throughout most of the movie, like they're pretty much just fighting with a bunch of like lead pipes and shit. Like these yeah. people on the other side of the door are fucks unless they can find some way to turn oh, this yeah. around. Like you can really feel the significance of them just holding some oh, axes, it, like. Oh, it was shit. pretty heavy. Like, yeah. I actually God. felt like Dang. bad for them. Like there's going to be a lot of death here. Yeah. And I was just immediately starting that thing where I imagined what I would do in that situation. I'm like, no, you die. If you're the person yes. in the front, you're dead. Yes. I'm sorry. If you're the person in the front, you're dead. <laughs> well, unless you're a main character. Unless you're Curtis. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah exactly. Because obviously, the, obviously the, the, the strat here is to get one of their weapons as quickly as fucking possible, as, which is what right. they oh, did. Yeah, yeah. And, which is what they did. Yeah. 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 Apartment. But like the chances of that are slim. All they have to do is just swing you're, wildly. You're going at to you, have like... casualties in the process of doing that, but that's how oh, you turn the tide. Yeah. You turn the tide of battle by having some Throwing casualties. Bodies. Along. You exactly. Have to throw, you have to throw bodies at the problem yeah, until yeah, you find an opening. Thing. Yeah. And like that's. Can you imagine like having like that's the situation you're in? You're like, I have oh. to be the guy that helps my team win by just getting an axe in the middle of my forehead. Yeah. I mean, like Fuck, it, it gets to a certain oh. point where you're like, I'd rather die than go back to the back of the train. That's true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> So you oh, just kind of just you just do it and you just hope you're the one who makes it on to the mm -hmm. next car. Got nothing to lose. Yeah. Yeah. Like, honestly. So you, so you have right. this uh, this um, little action scene going on. And this, this is another point. I'm sorry, I don't I don't know. Maybe if this is a hot take or not. But like the, the, the violence in this action sequence seemed pretty PG-13 to me. In terms of like, yeah, what they, was going down? There's a lot of um, just like smacking with axes, and then like hitting them off screen. Like, a little bit of blood on the face. The, the yeah, most, like, yeah the all, most... the, all of the hits themselves were just like blunt looking. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, you weren't you weren't getting like the sound it. of like just like well, you're not well, you cutting didn't get limbs down. or anything. You're literally just like basically knocking people out with a little extra blood. It yeah. was kind of like Lord of the Rings violence with some arterial yeah. spray. I mean, so clearly, a little bit more arterial. Yeah, like, clearly, uh, clearly, I feel like this movie has earned its R rating for like the language, which is probably like mm -hmm. I feel like if the movie didn't have the language, it could have probably maybe gotten away with a PG thirteen rating. I think the blood was was too much. Maybe the blood was a little much. They much blood the blood. In maybe if they reduced the blood, it could, if they just reduced the blood, this could have been a PG thirteen movie. And the language, oh, yeah, like they, they were dropping and, and the language. Place. Like that's and an easy, that's an easy one for me to miss because I curse like a sailor as well. Well, so like are there tits notice. like in no the, there's no like, not that i noticed because there's definitely there's like the fuck lounge there's, like, i'm trying to remember even when, like like uh when they're like ripping like the jackets off people they're like in like they're still in like the skivvies i didn't like, see any nudity yeah. okay i don't if i don't think was, i did either if there was that's blurry. also something that could be easily like edited out for a pg-13 as well they definitely True. don't they don't focus on it if yeah. it is in the scene. Which I appreciate because they that could have easily had stuff like that. Just a random easily, thought I had. Yeah. I'm just another was like, oh, this isn't like as brutally violent as I would have expected it to be. That's not a bad thing. It's just not what I expected. Um, yeah. Right. So that was just a thought during this scene, which was a pretty, pretty decent action was, scene. I liked it. It was good. It, it yeah. was very real, realistic. It was just like a chaotic, just like free for all. Yeah, there's people mm -hmm. just um, swinging wasn't... around like... Who knows? You just like swing an X round. You might. You, you're you're either know, catching like, one or giving one. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's one or the other. They walk through a section of the train and take people's jackets that shows slight female frontal nudity. I didn't notice it. 
Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't even notice it. Ah, uh, whatever. It's um, it's so minimal if it is in there that yeah. it, like it's it's. Interesting. So I need to uh, have DB to tell me where the nipples are. <laughs> what did y'all What did y'all think of the fish slip? That was a little goofy. <laughs> That but, was okay. That that I didn't was understand. Like, oh man, I, I didn't forgot understand about that, that actually. I didn't just, understand yeah, just, why that needed to happen. But just to put the, uh, the main character like, in a tight spot, I guess. Yeah, because he was going Terminator much, more. He just, mode. Yeah, he didn't. He just he, didn't he just did a quick roll and then cut that guy's ankle off and That's then true, boom, yeah. back to business. Yep. I thought it was pretty goofy. Um, it was. <laughs> I mean, there there were some banana, parts in that split. in that whole scene that were pretty goofy because they just stopped to celebrate New Year's in the middle of it. That, I thought that part was I awesome. Love it was like, great. Yes. That's, that's another just, great piece of world sitting, building. Sitting next to that guy, they're just, just like, like smiling at each, at each other. other. Yeah, and then the moments like, that the shit, like they get the okay that everything's all right, they go right back into it. Oh yeah. Well, then so, it was, it's, it's great to they're show all, like, that it was counting just it the down front, too and shit. The front siders are the only one, like the front enders are the only ones that are like doing this. Like the other side is just perplexed. They're like, well, they, right. they, they know that know it's the new the year though. Stop. They do know that it's new year because do. doesn't Edgar just be like, man, like I, I he makes a comment about keep getting older Another or something. Another year older. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so the tail, I couldn't remember. I thought the tail enders, like, the tail, I, I, mean, I would have just I, taken I, advantage of it. I would imagine New Year's is always, like, a massive event for the stream because they break through all that snow every single time, I thought. Yeah, I, I, I assume oh, everyone knows. Okay, so they were all, they were all celebrating it. They don't know about. But certainly, I, I would know, be surprised yeah, if that the tail didn't count necessary. down New Year's. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they were necessarily all celebrating. It was just, like, one of those, like, weird moments. Oh, like, yeah, yeah like, I acknowledge it. All... like why did these people stop okay like, that's what that's how i interpreted it as well thing. okay yeah. i think that's, that's kind of what i what i was getting from it okay but again yeah, that was thing, a, like that was showing like scene. yeah front car people are so weird they'll yeah. stop a brawl just to celebrate new year's yeah like yeah like, yeah half dead <laughs> yeah so um, yeah so we have that and then pretty much like that's when uh mason shows when mason up. shows up i believe and so then... with her bodyguards her little entourage her, her entourage. Um, and <laughs> we see all of the all the fucking dudes putting on night, night vision. Every, everything that happens like, in this card is probably like my favorite action stuff of the movie. This this it's card the cool, is it's probably a, it's the, probably so the coolest cool. card. Yes. Um. Yeah. Like them putting. I'm like, oh hell yeah. There's Scary. Really something. Fucking yeah. Scary. Like they're putting on night vision goggles. Like that's got to mean something. They know something's uh, happening. Approximately 75 percent um, of you will die. No, she yeah. says like no, like she says like exactly, doesn't she? She's like seventy four, like uh, oh something like I don't that. I think she says approximately. I think she's like, like she no, seventy four like, percent of you people will die. Yeah, that yeah. which is like what Boom the fuck? Chill, <laughs> it's, good, it's good shit. It's a good setup. It's very good. And then like it's revealed, it's like yeah, we're going to a really fucking long tunnel. You guys are fucked. Um, yeah. yeah, and this is just another like, aspect of just like the bridge. There's a tunnel, a yeah. really long. You guys tunnel. are yeah. fucked. And, and this is just another one of those aspects where it was like, this could only happen if this was taking a place on a train. And like, right, they're exactly. leaning into that Lights setting. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Super so, cool. I love it. Very cool. So, and yeah, then they have to call for fire. Mm -hmm. how, how awesome! How awesome like was Olympic that? Like a big torch scene where like <laughs> this little kid's right, and then I love Andrew Andrew takes, and he's like, "Oh, you're going it. too slow." Ah, <laughs> they keep passing <laughs> it down. Crazy. Another, th and another, then, little... and then you get like the <laughs> Lord of the Rings <laughs> moment where they're like, "Take the man, the man on up front, like take him down, take him down." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Another interesting bit of trivia on IMDb is uh, when the scene where they bring those torches in and they start fighting again has zero additional lighting it's all the torches it's just the torch oh, just the torches awesome wow yeah well it's super that's, cool like because like, obviously the the torches with the night vision goggles like it's burnt, start, like you can't have the night vision on so they're having to like take them off and then they're all disoriented so it's yeah easy G pick pretty, when pretty genius yeah. in there super cool it's good shit it's good shit I also like the uh, the first person mode of the soldiers before they get the torches, so you can see just how big of a fucking deal this is. Like these people oh, are yeah, they are just demolishing these yeah. people. Like mm -hmm. it's insane. So that was all. It's all. It's all great. I like all the stuff yeah. in that cart. Pretty much everything. Maybe not and the fish slip. Just has to go and get himself. Fucking, I did not here. expect that to happen so soon. There's a lot of character deaths in this movie. I was like, uh, I didn't like, think that oh, was wow. gonna happen there. Oh, mm, yeah, I thought shit. Edgar was going to make it further, yeah. but I mean, it was, it was important for him to have to make that decision. It's like, I have to capture and it, Mason. And like, it's a good, it's a good, um, cool. 
it, it, it's a good sort of like character moment for Curtis in terms of just like. I love you, man. The, when but... when when he has to make that sort of split second decision, what's most important to him? It's not necessarily Edgar, even though you find out later that like you also, if you rewatch this movie, you can understand how just a gut wrenching uh, choice that, that probably was. was for him. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. But he but he I had mean, like a leader. The, he had to make it a was very the correct choice. It was. He had to make, had right to make a really yeah. really tough call. And you could you could see just like the disappointment in Edgar's face before he gets stabbed. He's like, oh yeah, oh fuck. that that was really yeah. sad. He's yeah. like, yeah. Was really sad. It's like, yeah. oh man, I thought you were gonna come back for me. And then, like, I'm glad he they tries. didn't do the cliche thing of like, oh no, I'll my I'll get out of this caught. myself. I I'll, and I'll give yeah, shit for it later. Like, no, he's, yeah, he's like, dead. He actually just gets stabbed. No, like, he he you. did. Big like, time. I'm sad dead. that Edgar's dead, but I'm glad they didn't try to like make him. Survive, so I know just yeah, just because like oh you like this character yeah you know what we'll, we'll let him live yeah great so um, but yeah then uh I, well, when um that one security guard gets like stabbed with the spear who's the one who actually puts the spear up I think that was the daughter he's running at the girl at the daughter but she's like no he was running at anything. someone else wasn't she oh, he, wasn't he was he? running at her oh well. I think she and and I don't know who this, like. I, it, it's gotta be her. Comes right? out of nowhere, and it it's wasn't gotta her be dad, her, cause right? Because her, her dad comes and just punches him in the face. Hold on, I'm gonna because I pulled up the the for movie for for things like this. Mm. Let me see if we can figure this one out. Why, because I, I, had, I had the same question. Shows it, it shows it like come up, and and then it shows her like kind of cowering, like as he's like dying on it. And I'm like, well, no, who, this... who put the spear in him? Then it's a very good question because I I thought the same, and all I did to like keep going through the movie was just say like, you know what? Are um, we going to get any she did it reenactments? And... Oh, it depends on Wait, what scene yeah. you're talking oh. about. Oh no! Did I walk away in the middle of the okay, Dalvis? Let's, let's... Walked away in the middle of uh, the right when Dalvis subscribed. Dalvis, no! Jerk. Are we gonna get any scene when... reenactments? Everyone has their own predetermined purpose. When does this when does this guy die? Okay. Alright, we see dead Edgar on the ground looking real cute. Mm. Aw. The hottest and he's ever looked in his life. Jerry's daughter comes out. This is his daughter, right? Okay, so yes. he's running over yeah. at her. Okay, here we are, here we are. He, he runs over and he like does the thing like he jumps up in the air for some reason towards her. Wait, okay. She used her legs. She like yeah, she, there was oh. some she sort used of like... her she used her legs. So she's sitting on the ground okay. and she like kicked it up in the air as he was running. And it just kind of caught him while like something like that. In the position that it's in, it looks like I don't think I don't know if he was trying to kill her. I think he was trying to kill someone else. That's what I thought. And, and then she just like and she put the spear in front of him as he was running by. Yeah. Yeah. Almost like a yeah, rake. That's, that's what it was. Like, but, just like but she, yeah, she's up. the one that she's the one that did it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it was well, just sort of confusing. Sort it was. Of it happens really fast, and mm -hmm. the, the uh, editing is a bit confusing. But yeah, like who's he running at though? That's what I was curious about. But uh, at, at but anyways, around this Mason time, Mason is captured. Mason's now. captured. Got they pretty much put an end to uh, the the combat there. Um, and then I guess they take a couple of the, a couple of the surviving people on the opposing side as like prisoners. I think that was mentioned at some point. Um, yeah, they don't really like show them too yeah. much they're just like yeah and someone has to stay back and deal with the prisoner as well mm -hmm. yeah they kind of so, mention it but they have that stuff you have an interrogation scene with uh mason uh andrew talks about chopping off her arm you got all you know it's like there's little character I'm stuff gonna chop your arm off i'm scottish <laughs> i'm very scottish <laughs> so yeah they they have all of that they make a deal with mason to guide them safe passage up to the the, the front the of the carts to the engine um, because she wants to live. I want yeah. to live. <laughs> but yeah, dude, like, what the fuck? Like, oh, God, <laughs> please put your teeth back in. I know they don't even look good, but I'd <laughs> rather see that than your gums. <laughs> I, 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 en I enjoyed how just like indelibly tied to the movie her character is. Like, she's not yeah. just oh, like, yeah. oh, you could put her in another movie. Like, she's made for no. this movie. Uh -huh. She is in Snowpiercer and nothing else. I, yeah. I really like that about her. So uh, they, they start going up a couple of cars. And what I liked about yep. this was that they were pretty like uneventful cars in terms of like action sequence or anything like that. No, These were just, just like, just this story. is where people live. Like, it's mm -hmm. just, yeah, there's just, a, there's just a lady knitting. Yeah. Oh, and the, the, just, like, right through. It, it, area. it looked just like, like Hillary Clinton. The next too. car after the water, the water car, it was just her just sitting there. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was, it's Hillary Clinton sitting in like an orange tree garden. Yeah. 
Like she's the first face you see, like the first like normal person you see. And it's just movie. her. Yeah. Like, oh. And this is what this is when it gets super weird because you expect to see like an like almost equal number of people, but just different classes. No, yeah. they get far and far more sparse. There's yes. like a person yeah. in a car, mm -hmm. which and is think, just insane. I think that kind of like makes sense to me in like a sense with the movie. It it's does. Like, there's going to be less people. In, yeah. Like the high class. Of course. But, but this yeah. is the first yeah. moment where you really start to like get confronted with that and like yeah, yeah, yeah digest yeah. that essentially.